all right hello everyone and peace of christ all of you i hope my voice came in good and please invite your friends if you care for our topic today uh, today uh, you know uh, weekend and usually in the weekend uh, we started a new uh, uh, program where we as a christians and for sure even christians are welcome to share with us we speak things about anything you know any interest we have a lot around us in life uh, because usually during the week, you know, what we do here, we debate with Muhammadan about the cult of Islam. So we take a break from the cult of Muhammad and his versions and the genie and the flying carpet and all the crazy stuff he bring to us. Uh, let us see. I hope that my internet will not uh, go down. Is the sound good? Because today is Saturday, and sometimes Saturday here uh, we have too many users using the internet, and that slowed down my network. So let us hope it's going to be good. Uh, in the front of us, we see uh, the uh, the news about the coronavirus. Coronavirus. And they are saying now the total death is 811. Now remember, this is what the Chinese are saying. 811. You know, based on my experience about police state, which all Middle Eastern countries are police state, when there is a, when they say there's 10 people die, that means maybe there's 10,000. You know what I mean? They exaggerate about good stuff and they, uh, they try to bury the bad stuff. Like there's no bad news in the Middle East, as an example. I remember once when I was, this is a long time ago, I was in the Middle East still, before I emigrated to the state. There was a bus full of kids, you know, full of kids, children. Most of them, they die in the accident. We did not hear about it in the news. In the same day, the same night, there were a government there did not hear about 60, 70 students die in the country but they heard about an accident happened in Los Angeles and nobody died there not even one person injured so police state they control the news and you know as you know in China there's no Google there is no Viber work there's no WhatsApp you cannot send videos I don't know how many of you been in China before so you have to be like uh, specially skilled to be able to use the proxy and even if you do so they might track you and they will hunt you down they will put you in jail for a couple of years so it's very risky so when they say 811 god knows what is the real number there's no way it's 811 you know the the territory where the virus is spreading is not really the territory which mean they are trying to make it it is located in a territory but the fact it's all over it's all over china and it's going all over even the world you know you see that the, everybody is trying to hide the truth that this virus is out of control uh, like there's a cruise ship in japan and obviously this, the virus i mean look how funny they are uh, the, the French president, he decided to bring all the French citizens from China. Well, are you crazy or stupid or what? So they bring with them the virus. What about you uh, find them a place where you isolate them hmm? so they can stay there until this virus issue is, uh, is over? But you bring them to France, okay, what if they are sick? Why you are you bringing them to France? I mean, what is that? So uh, m many government, they don't know what to do. And you will notice that those leaders, all what they are worried about, election. So he want to show his people that I care for my citizen. I brought them here to France. But you brought them to France. What exactly? What will happen? You don't have a cure for it anyway. And they might have the, 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 the illness with them. Especially this illness, it doesn't show right away. You know, like the funny, uh, some airport, like in the Philippines, I saw the news in the Philippines. Uh, they have those machines, you know, to measure the temperature for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> and supposedly if you are if you have a fever they they isolate you 
But who said that the one who have a coronavirus is going to have a fever right away? It's going to take time. So if you don't have a fever, you go. You pass. And nobody will notice you. And you cross the country and you enter the Philippines and bingo. Uh, I'm sure that the virus already spread all over the Middle East. Because in the Middle East, you will not hear about those things. I mean, until maybe things became so crazy until you see people dying left and right, then we might hear about it in the news. But all government in the, in the Middle East, they say we have zero virus. All of them. I mean, is that possible? It's impossible. It is impossible. Especially Saudi Arabia as a place have a, uh, a religious uh, uh, Mecca where Muslims come from everywhere, and including China. Um, and you can imagine how many people visit and they have to bring the virus with them. So they are sick, like a police government. They don't report what's happening. And what's happening, I believe, is very ugly. Nobody is prepared for this, uh, this virus. Uh, government in USA, they are not ready for it. Government in Canada, they are not ready for it. In France, in England, nobody is ready for it. So this virus, if this virus continue, it might be the biggest disaster for mankind because if it's really spread and there's no cure for it you know like i heard they are saying uh, they are using a mix of drugs for aids and uh, other stuff and it's working obviously it's not working otherwise we will not see the death number is going up it's not working so when they say to us that this is, uh, uh, you know, don't worry, be happy, it's just trying, you know, to, to control the crowd. If you go to China, the streets are empty. Stores are empty. There's nobody. Schools are closed. And this is not only in one place, not only in that city, which is a huge city, by the way, and very beautiful, too. I was really surprised how, how, uh, how I mean, uh, how organized the city is. Uh, when you see that city in China, you think that this is USA and you think that we are here in China. Because our roads here in USA, many people think USA is like a like a high-tech country. Our roads here in USA is the same as a road in, uh, in, in you know, in Somalia. Somehow, you know, uh, because of uh, how much the government, they care for roads. Uh, will you go back to visit? Actually, yeah, somebody says to me, uh, because I was invited to go to uh, Singapore, and um, I said, no, not really. Um, I'm not going to do it. And they said, okay, well, you made the right decision. You did not come because now they are afraid in Singapore too. Uh, but I said back, answer back, I said, this is the best time to travel, actually, because now the price of airplanes is so cheap. <laughs> Hotels are empty food will be so cheap and tourist there's no tourist so now for sure you might say like okay you have to be crazy to go where everybody is not going well you know actually the risk is when everybody is going to, to a place because the crowd is the risk not when there's nobody you know you know what i mean your risk is the crowd if there's nobody around you're safe so if you go in the airplane and there's nobody in the airplane I mean, have fun. This is when you are safe, not the opposite. Like, you know, some people, they, they have a phobia uh, from a graveyard. When he see a graveyard, he gets scared. A graveyard is, uh, is the most safe place for a human being. Those are dead people. They don't hurt anyone. You want to be worried, worry about the living creatures around you. Uh, <clears throat> It's danger, but everything is danger around us. I mean, how many people die in the highway every year? How many people die in, uh, you know, even airplane crash, uh, train crash? Uh, here we go. Like today in Thailand, uh, 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 a Thai soldier, he took his gun, he started shooting people in the mall. You go to the mall to buy shopping, to do what? To do to buy jeans or to buy a gift for your son or a child, you know, and then you end dead. Okay, but you, you are not joining the army. I mean, you are going to the mall. You are not joining an, like a, a mission which like a mission impossible. You are just going to the mall. 
No, I will never wear a mask. But anyway, if if you have to wear a mask, wear it. But for me, I might use uh, my own Arabian mask. You know the we have the the Arabian clothes. Put it around me, and this is the best mask because this is what uh, we use in the desert. You know, which is very good actually because it prevents dust and you know, many things. You, you do not need to buy those masks. You know, they are just uh, taking your money. They are even stupid. I don't think even they really filter the air. It's just a piece of fabric in the front of your face. Just you, if you have a scarf at home, just put it around your mouth, and that's it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, risk. There is risk everywhere. There's death everywhere. You know. Actually, I know people who used to hide from death. They are the one who die, and the one who don't hide is the one is living. And example is me. So, uh, you know, I went through a lot of things in my life, and I should be dead from long time ago. But I do. Uh, you know, I, I don't. When you fear death, death follow you. If you fear sickness, sickness follow you. Whatever you fear is going to come to you. You, you know, your death actually is your fear. You know, you die before you, you die twice. You die because of your fear, and you die for from what is going to happen. You know what I mean? Uh, if you are a person who have a phobia from anything like viruses, etc., without virus, you, you you are already dead. You have to wash the pillow twice a day. You have to change the blanket every day. You have to, uh, I mean, uh, crazy. I mean, because you are scared, you are terrified. You have no life. You know, you have to wash your hands every two minutes, and you cannot shake hands with people because they have germs. And you know, like uh, how you can live, you cannot live. You are not. You are not. Alive. You are not alive, actually. So. Yeah, there are certain things you need to do, like, you know, okay, there is a virus, uh, you know, uh, wash your hands, don't put your, uh, your fingers in your mouth, don't eat in the street, don't eat in restaurants, you know, make your own food. So there are certain things to, to keep yourself clean and to keep yourself uh, protected. And uh, that is necessarily always, not only those street, what, what people, how they made those, this food, how, how, uh, what they touch before they give it to you. I don't know, I don't want to go in details, but you know what I'm talking about. So you have to be careful. However, if you are afraid of death, death will follow you. As simple as that. Uh, we should expect spread of sickness, the Bible says. Yeah, you see, we don't know, like we, we, we cannot say the Bible says, and this is what's happening now, you know. Uh, because I think that what the Bible said, that this is, will be about something will be like that's it, you know. It's not just something temporarily and will go, you know. So if something became no solution for it, and sickness, everybody is sick and everybody is dying, that is the prophecy, you know. You can talk about. But if it just like, uh, even if only, even if a couple of millions die, still this is going to be a prophecy, uh, because the Bible is speaking about something bigger. Uh, actually, in the past, uh, many millions they die before, from war, from viruses, you know, from etc. You know, so you cannot uh, just because the Bible say you you start uh, uh, spotting your finger at what the Bible says and say this is that's it. This is what the Bible said. You know what I mean? No, we don't want to do that. <clears throat> Same time, remember, if you remember the story of Lot, the Lord. He will not burn down the city if there is even 10 people there are good people. Just 10. You know what I mean? So if there is 10 people are good, the city will not be punished. Just 10. Which means punishment will come when everybody is evil. Almost. And I don't think this is the case for China or any city yet in the world. So I think still we are far away from that day when we can say it is a judgment day. You know what I mean? Uh, all the glory to be to Jesus, to all my Christian brothers and sisters from India. Thank you, my friend from India. God bless you. Uh, you know, like every, every ethnic group, they have their own traditions. And, you know, in China, they eat food which nobody really eat. I mean, in Asia, generally speaking, uh, you know, for me, when I went to China or to Asian countries, 
I noticed that this country, uh, there's there's food which for us, like, you know, we consider it disgusting. They eat it. You know, uh, even they have cockroaches. I remember once I was walking in Thailand and uh, a lady, she is sitting in the street. She have like, I look like, she, they look like cockroaches. What is that? You know, so I said to her, what is this? <laughs> she said, she speak a broken English like mine. She said, sir, sir, this is good for boom, boom. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, yeah, so, you know, uh, especially if you spread rumors about the benefit of some food and people believe it, then people buy it and then they eat it, even if it's garbage. You know what I mean? Uh, Mr. Jack Sparrow, he is saying, uh, uh, mm. yeah. Well, Jack Sparrow, here we have a problem. Because your prophet, uh, when he said in the Quran that every soul will test death. And then uh, Jesus did not die. That is a problem. You know what I mean? Secondly, your prophet, he claimed that the angel of death, he will die too. But the angel of death is not a soul. How the angel of death, he will die. How death will die. Your prophet, he said uh, that Allah will bring death and he will slaughter him. Have you ever heard of a madness like this? So don't bring the wisdom of your prophet. Uh, your prophet, he spoke about viruses. And he said, the city of Medina, there is no virus will enter to it, if you remember, just to remind you, my friend. Uh, but we know that in Medina, not only suffer from the virus, which is the plague, but suffered heavily to the point people, they die in the, sometime in the same, like few hours or same day. Uh, just to show you uh, one hadith as an example. Here we go. This is the... Uh, this is the city your prophet he promised that this city there's no plague uh, will enter it you know ta'un ta'un by the way is is something happened where a huge number of people die all of them they have the same disease doesn't matter the name you know doesn't matter really the name so when uh, uh, something as uh, an illness sudden sudden illness happen and the population is infected not like one or two or ten you know so like a huge population is infected and people they are dying left and right that was what your prophet is saying so he is promising you that the plague or any any death will not enter the medina like this and as you see people they were dying rapidly the fact the translation is false because it not or not only it says rapidly it says mountain the rian which means as a rian mean that it is uh, fast, fast and ugly. All right. So your prophet again, he is he is the last one to tell us what's happening. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, we don't want to change the topic. So uh, as you see, this uh, coronavirus obviously they have no control of it, and they don't know what to do with it. And they are practicing things, hoping that they can control it. So if uh, uh, if the private sector, uh, government, scientists, they are unable, so you might, you might get ready to expect that the number of uh, spreading might go really heavy. Even though they are like saying, we control the airport, we check passengers, it's impossible. Because this, the, this, this virus, you know, like when you get infected, you will not have symptoms right away, you know, because all what they can do, they have to wait for the symptoms. They cannot discover it until you get sick and sick for real. Right? <clears throat> well, you see, uh, we, we do not know really the reason behind this virus. Uh, everybody is guessing. Some people, they say uh, bad soup. Some people, they say... It is the animal, uh, what you call it, this uh, ant eater, you know. So, I mean, they don't know really. They have no idea. They have no idea. It looked like they've been taken into surprise because this virus from the same family, a virus appeared in Saudi Arabia before. The same virus, but it's like a little bit different. Uh, first time appeared in 2012 in the, Midi uh, the city of uh, Jeddah during the Hajj, which means it's coming from Mecca. Uh, and many people die 
but look like this virus did not really spread heavily and um, it went to sleep and look like that this virus it might be this i mean the exact same one or from the same family uh, developed itself and became stronger you know so now like it's prepared for antibiotic and all the drugs we use to fight it so this medicine is not really affecting right <clears throat> Uh, for a truth, you know, we don't want to use comment like this, my friend. Uh, 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 don't eat uh, pigs because uh, uh, pigs are their cousin. This is not a smart talk. Uh, but I can give you an answer better than this. Muslims didn't know actually why they don't eat uh, pigs. All right. They don't know. They have no idea. No Muslim knew why they should not eat pigs that's why the quran is a silly book because shouldn't you tell people why 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 you forbid something nobody knows all right <clears throat> uh, hey romano how are you yeah and you know we are not here to call the muslim names even sometimes i have to say certain words but i'm not calling names you know we don't want to do the same as the muslim like i remember once the muslim they were saying to me christian women they have aids i said well this is not true actually uh, muslim women the you know the aids spread way more than you know in, in in a christian society because a muslim man is number one sex tourist and it's very well known, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Bahrain, Qatar, uh, all those rich countries, number one sex tourists in the world, they are them. And you know what is that going to bring? So Muslim women are the first one to be infected with the AIDS virus. Because the man, he had many wives, he go, he go to Thailand. He don't go to Thailand to see a nice beach or uh, to take selfie picture, which is a beautiful country, or to eat food. No, he's going to the bar, prostitutes, everybody knows, especially in the month of Ramadan. So we don't want to do the same as they do, right? We speak logic, and the logic is yes. The AIDS is all over in the Middle East, uh, many viruses, and people die there, nobody knows, because who cares? You see, in those countries, uh, when Saddam Hussein killed 10,000 Kurdish by using chemical weapons as if they are fly, if not the Western TV, nobody in Iraq knows about it. Not a single person in Iraq he saw in the TV the news that there is 10 people die by chemical weapon as nothing happened you know so as i said in the middle eastern uh, 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 government or media uh, tv stations everything is controlled the same as in china so when they say to us 811 people they die uh, that's mean the number is really huge it might be 8000 it might be 80000 we don't know this is a communist country you know i remember when i was walking in the street i feel that i am being watched closely the police they will eat your life like you know even they will come supposed to be a tourist you know but it's it's a police country There is no private companies, as an example. Like you see, uh, the reason America is fighting a Huawei phone, because this is not a private company. This is a Chinese government company. There's, you know, China is different. Is different level of communism, which is very weird. Like you see, when you say government, uh, always you think about government. Um, like uh, there is an office, uh, present the government, and this is the one is in control and uh, like uh, there's no private companies owned by somebody no in china there is a private company but it's owned by the government employees so everybody is employed by the government so they create companies and those companies they own they are owned which means the income of those who work in the company which is supposedly a private company but at the same time it's a government company the money come from there is what is going to pay for the salary of the employees. So the Chinese, they made it like half private, 
and half government but at the end of the day everything is government uh, it's different different uh, what from what we know about communism very very different uh, style uh, released uh, Vincent, the said infection more than 150 and the death rate is 24 is official release infection yeah this is re released by whom the the death number you mentioned uh, uh, Andy who is the one who mentioned this uh, number that 24 yeah I don't know what official official we, you know we cannot really trust anyone because uh, you see the only one knows the real number is the Chinese government and actually the Chinese government they refuse any assistance from USA from uh, from France from England because they don't want anyone to know numbers you know what I mean That's why they don't want anyone. The USC offered them to send scientists to help them to fight the virus. Uh, France did the same, but they don't want anyone. And the reason is very simple. They don't want news to leak. It's as simple as that. So they prefer that their citizens die by tens of thousands uh, and not to say, okay, come over and help us. You know, I uh, see. Okay, accidental release. Okay, yeah. Well, you see, but if this is accidental release, uh, we don't know. So, uh, this is what happened in a police state, and uh, I believe it's not only the Chinese is doing the same. I mean that I believe many countries are doing the same because they are trying to control economy. Because you see, this virus. Uh, as you see, I mean, it's very funny how a small, tiny virus can change everything. Will 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 impact the food market, the oil market, uh, jobs, uh, manufacturers, steel price, dollar price, gold price, diamond price, uranium price. You will not believe it. It's just a stupid virus, but everything is infected by such a thing, right? <clears throat> Oh, uh, Samad does not mean idol. Zaki is, Zaki is still alive. Ah, <laughs> uh, Zaki. <clears throat> anyway, uh, Zaki is asking me, you don't have a head as idol. Well, my friend, if he is not an idol, then you are in trouble. You better take the idol option. Because if the Muslim says, قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ That means he is one off. That means Allah is not the only God. So you have to tell me what the word Ahad coming from. Is that Ahad a name? As an example, we say, يَوْمُ الْأَحَدْ Sunday, it's called Ahad. But this is a name. So look, what, look how you put yourself in trouble. Either you accept that قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ هُوَ أَحَدْ what, his, what he is, he is Ahad. Huh? Either you accept that this is a name, as the day, the day Sunday, or you accept that Muhammad is using the wrong word in Arabic, which means one off. Choose one. Which one is good for you? Both of them, they will be horrible. The best scenario, you have Corona. Right? Anyway, we go back to our topic. So, if this virus go out of control, uh, I mean, many things will happen. I will not be surprised if they have no medicine for it. Uh, millions of people will die from around the earth. And you know, the, the, the bad thing is, there are some countries, they have no protection. I mean, uh, like in Philippines, Indonesia, Bangladesh, those are a huge population and the the system there is not good at all to to fight anything like this you know it's not like advanced countries so and it's very crowded like one train in bangladesh is enough to spread the the, the, the virus everywhere the virus the the video is give a buffering zaki because you did not say inshallah say inshallah will fix it 
So if this virus really spread, I mean, and they have no uh, no vaccine for it, millions of people will die. And God knows what 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 millions mean. All what I can see in the beginning, I thought this is like, uh, eh, I mean, few people die, they will find a solution, they use and you know. But look like they are in disability. Nobody knows really, and the number of, of death is increasing, which means obviously they are trying everything they have. And you know, China is not like a, a country who has no scientist. They have, you know, Chinese are very smart people. The Chinese, they have the, the uh, even in the ancient medicine, they are they used to be the best when it's come to medicine. So if the Chinese cannot fight it, uh, and then we find that people are dying even in America. Um, so the news is very horrible. You know, the news is very horrible. So, uh, uh, you know, I hope, I pray that they will ab be able to find a solution for it. Otherwise, you know, not only this, I mean, if people stop going to work, I mean, how people they will support themselves? You see, it's not, okay, now you are afraid to go in the street because there's a virus. But there's things you need to do. You know, not everybody have a bank account and he have money, he have savings. There's people, they live day by day. There's people, if they don't work, the, the same day, they have no food on the table. Which means they have zero food. So the, the issue will be way bigger than just a virus. People will lose their jobs, uh, money and crimes will increase. Security will be, I mean, it's going to be a chaos. If things, it's like, it's going to be like those movies we see in TV where things go horrible. Like zombie, you know. For sure, uh, you know, um, because a human being, when he turned into survival mood, many of them, they turn to the animal mood. Everyone, he think about me, just me, myself. The rest of them die, who care? Especially, sadly, in China, because of the communism, not because of the Chinese, you know, after all those years of the communists controlling the country, uh, most of the Chinese there, they focus in themselves. Nobody care for the rest. So if you fell down on the ground, nobody will help you. Why? Because nobody want to involve in a problem. As simple as that, you know, because this is a police state. So everyone, he say, okay, none of my business. Something wrong happened, he will not be involved. None of my business. Because he's afraid from the secret police, from the government, from etc. So everyone, he will say, none of my business. Because of fear. Fear can, can change you. You know, can make you a different creature. Uh, and you notice right now, the Chinese media, like I, I, I saw they have a video. Let me see if I can find it. They have a video live 24 hours. Supposedly they are showing the world they are building a, a hospital for coronavirus. Okay, what does that mean? I mean, this is the most silly news to tell me. That's actually scary. I was watching how, and here we go. They had this live. Let's see if we can see the, the, the actual video live. They have two channels or three channels live podcast. Yeah, I don't see it anymore. Maybe they stopped doing it. Maybe they noticed that this is a stupid idea. So they were they were launching uh, like a live broadcast for building a hospital and supposedly they want to finish it in eight or ten days. But but this is mean you don't have hospitals. Okay, why you want, why now you are building hospitals? Are you saying you don't have hospitals before? So where was your hospitals before? What happened to them? Oh, this is hospital for Ebola. Oh, sorry for for a Corona. I mean, it's 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 the same. But in order to control a big problem, which is going to be economy, 
China is losing a lot of money every day because of this. Their airlines is dying. Nobody is dying buying product. You know, import. People, they stop because afraid. Nobody want to import, especially like food from China. Uh, importing anything, actually, it is now uh, questionable. Like, uh, should we import or not? Because the one who is going to uh, uh, send us the product is a human being. He's, you know, maybe he's infected. Maybe we get the virus with the... So, you never know. So it's a big problem and they do not know what to do with it. You know, so they come with this idea we will put in YouTube, a live channel showing them that we are building a hospital is going to be finished in 10 or 15 days. But this is showing us a big failure that a country like China don't have hospitals for uh, similar kind of diseases. Right? A big failure, obviously. The Chinese government really, they, uh, you know, they proved that they, they, they were thinking about everything, maybe except this thing. Uh, how to invest in foreign countries, how to control foreign countries, uh, you know, uh, how to copy uh, technology from America, steal it from uh, uh, here and there and redo it in China. But nobody thought about such a thing and they are not ready for it. But we cannot blame the Chinese alone. You see, even in USA, they are not ready for it. Here we go. People, they are dying in USA. But I think, look like, that not everyone is infected with this disease. He will die. It is depend how strong your body is. You know? Uh, <clears throat> uh, because obviously the number of those who they are infected is way bigger than the number who they are dead you know what I mean uh, so obviously not everyone who get the disease he die so look like that this illness this virus will kill you if your body is weak Right? Uh, China don't have 35,000 hospital beds. My friend, China is a, is a more than a billion uh, human being. They don't have 35,000 beds. That's, that's funny. Because you can turn a school into a hospital in one day. Uh, what the problem? Beds? China is making medical uh, uh, machines to every country in the world. All what they need is to do is to change the supply direction. <laughs> you know, if you go right now, your dentist chair is made in China, your X-ray machine is made in China, uh, your, uh, 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 I mean, everything. So if, if the building is a problem, you can turn a school into a hospital. If it's about bed, they are the one who make the beds for everybody in the world. If it's about machines, well, all the machines we have is made, my computer is, you know, is made in China. You know, I have my laptop. I uh, I have a problem with it, so I need to fix it. Uh, and I open the cover and etc. And then I find that the battery made in China, the board made in China. I mean, what is made in, in USA? Nothing. The whole computer, which is Apple, is made in China. Your iPhone, you are not buying from USA. You are buying from China. <laughs> So, if a China cannot find medical equipment, and yet they are the one who made medical equipment for everybody, so what this is, uh, this is, was just a propaganda to tell you, don't worry, we are working in it, and here we go, we are building hospital, as if they are short of buildings. Actually, there's in that city right now, there's tens, uh, tens of thousands of buildings are empty right now because they are out of business. Nobody is doing business no more. Everybody's home. So they can convert any building, temporarily at least, and make it a hospital. You know? My friend, there's nothing is called uh, uh, suitable to control such a, you know, you can you can convert it because a hospital at the end of the day is roof and, 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 and walls, right? And then inside you can divide it as you wish. I mean, this is China, my friend. <laughs> okay, listen. 
if they can build a hospital in 10 days can they make a building ready to be a hospital in five it's already exist so you save half of the time uh, anyway so all of this all of this is just propaganda to 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 make people believe okay you know uh, we are china don't worry we are going to control it uh, buy from it, from us everything is fine we will fix it you know but the, obviously this is not what's happening uh, uh, today they found five people uh, six people in uh, from the uk in france infected right <clears throat> so obviously i mean those six people before they found them how many people they infected god knows those six people who they found them today in france going to do skiing and they are coming from the uk how many people in their way they shake hands with them uh you know uh, they hand money to them there's you know there is some people when they count money especially in the middle east when they count money like the money go dry right like you wanna uh, like uh, you wanna sorry like you wanna count the money you need uh, your finger to be wet so what they do they touch their finger with their tongue and then they start counting and then when the finger dry they touch it again this is the best way to spread the disease so if this virus if they don't find really a cure for it that will be the biggest disaster human beings you know suffer from uh, for for a long long time because if this is virus is spread there's countries they will lose millions, especially poor countries. Take a variety of protection. You know, a country like the Philippines. First time I went inside the mall in the Philippines, I, I, I was like shocked. I never saw people. I mean, as much as I saw in one hour, I see it in, in, in a year in USA. The number of people I saw in one hour in the mall in one hour is more than I see for the whole year in USA. I mean, you can't even walk inside the mall, especially when it's time like people leave the work. So in such countries, uh, Bangladesh, have you ever seen a train in Bangladesh? Who, who of you saw a train? In, let, let me show you a train in Bangladesh, how, how a train worked there. I mean, those people, if they receive the virus, that's that, that's it. I mean, crazy. Yeah. This is a train in Bangladesh. <laughs> Just to give you an idea. Let me show it to you more clear. So imagine you want to control the virus in this country. You see, like a, a you know, for us here we live in different world. This is this is look at this. You want to control the virus there? If the virus arrived to Bangladesh, how you can control it? This is just a train. People are not going to heaven. They just want to go home in the train. So if this virus arrive to those countries and is going to arrive, I mean, who is going to stop it? Imagine a Christian prince is taking the train because he promised the Christians to open life on air. And he is trying to get home using that train. Let me see where is a Christian prince there. Huh. Where is the guy who is looks scary? All of them, they look good except me. I don't see him. I mean, look at this. There's like 
30,000 people waiting for the train and there's other, other maybe 30, 50 in the train, in the top of the roof, in the top, I mean, so it's going to be really horrible. It might be funny, but this is really horrible. You know, thank God if you, you know, if you don't live in such a country, you are lucky, my friend. You see, people don't appreciate really what they have until they see. Honestly, people don't appreciate what they have until they see. Like you see an American boy, he is 16 years old, and he's complaining because his dad, he bought him a car, and the car is 10 years old. I mean, my his dad is cheap. He have a bad daddy. Send him to Bangladesh. Just send him, you know, let him get the training. Then he will appreciate every single bite of a sandwich you give him. Anyway, so there is some countries it's impossible to control virus on them. And this has nothing to do with being a Christians. I mean, uh, we don't want to be like the Muslims. Muslims, they are happy that uh, I saw many videos made by Muslims. Allah, he punishing the Chinese. Crazy stuff, you know, hate, hateful. Virus will kill everybody. It doesn't matter if you are a Christian, you are a, you are a Hindu, you are a Jew, you are a Muslim. It's very stupid to believe that the virus will ask you about your religion before he gets inside your mouth. Hmm? Right? <clears throat> But this is what the, what some Mohammedan they think. Virus is a virus. People die left and right. No mercy. What's your religion, what you eat, how you look like, or black, or white, or Asian, it doesn't matter. Right? So, uh, you know, we don't know what will happen tomorrow. Tomorrow might be ugly. We hope not. I pray not. Uh, but you know the world is uh, uh, the world is punishing itself by many things. Things is getting more ugly, and the more ugly it is, more more ugly stuff will happen. Uh, let us move to a different topic. Israel. You know what? I I, I I promise you, I will take calls from Christians today, uh, but I did not. Let me open my Skype. Uh, this is my voice in, in Instagram. Let me close it. Uh, if you have Instagram, don't forget to subscribe to my account there. All right, let us open Skype. All the week we take Muslim calls only. So, you know, in the weekend we take Christian calls. <clears throat> and what I hate about Skype, I open it each time I found like 1,000 message. And everyone, you know, if you see the messages, Oh, Christian Prince, I texted you, you did not answer me. Thank you very much. Upset, like they're upset, you know, I did not answer. But you should see how many people, they, 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 uh, they, they call me, they text me. Uh, if I, if I want to answer everyone, I will spend my life just answering. It's endless. All right. <clears throat> uh, <coughs> if you like me to call you, just send me a text message, I will call you back. Don't call, please. Um, yeah, just text me, tell me I want to call and I will call you back so we can receive people in order and nobody uh, jump over somebody else. For people who they are texting me from Nigeria, God bless you, my friend. Thank you very much. And I apologize I don't if I don't answer because it's too many people to answer. All right.
anyone would like would like to call just text me and I will call you back all right we go now to Israel and for sure we can go back if you want to call to talk about that uh, corona no problem you know you remember I spoke about uh, uh, Trump uh, plan uh, for peace and I told you this is not really a plan for peace it's just a plan uh, giving the green light for the Israeli to take uh, a land uh, which is obviously a very good plan for the Israeli people but you know uh, Israel is not a country of let us say people who agree with each other which mean Jewish people most of them today they are liberals and liberals are anti-Israel the same as liberals are anti-America always liberals anywhere they are anti you know anti-national I mean they are really they are anti so uh, Trump he is trying to help the Jews Netanyahu he is so happy for that many of the Jews they love it but in Israel there is a big 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 line of Jews who they are liberals and those Jews they prefer to give Jerusalem to the Muslims just for the sake of having you know a sign it says peace you know but this peace will never happen because if you give them Jerusalem then they will ask you for more cities you know they will never stop until they throw you in the ocean so liberals you know they are always you know they, they, they go in the awkward direction and they are you know a kind of an enemy to Israel I saw them in the news actually marching with the Muslims and the Arab if we can call them Arab uh, those who they are there uh, against the plan of peace of Trump weird isn't it actually you might find an Israeli he is burning the Israeli flag but this is the same you find in California you'll find a, a liberal from California burning the American flag not only you will find I mean this you will find everywhere uh, in in uh, in California if you are a person who uh, wear the flag of USA in your t-shirt they will kick you out from the school but if you wear the flag of Saudi Arabia you are welcome you know or Mexico so liberals are always like this it doesn't matter where you go all of them they are the same hmm? uh, and I believe that the Israeli people they should focus more in the liberal more than uh, the Arab the liberals are more dangerous than the Arab because you have the self-destruction members in your own citizen so they need to focus more on education and to change the mindset of those children who grow up in liberal schools who they told them that if you love your country you are a fascist if you are a person who carry your flag you are evil you know education education if you send a child and you put him between ISIS he grow as ISIS I mean it's very really simple education is everything is about education if you if you grow in California you will be liberal why because the education around you is the teacher is a liberal the teacher he will start saying uh, the, um, uh, Republican or white supremacist what what white supremacists have to do with Republican actually Democrat in USA they are the one who fought against freeing the slaves do you believe it they are the one go and read history every every uh, action legal action was against the black people was done by Democrat go search it so education is the problem in certain uh, areas the liberals are majority and they they have their influence in the children's so if you are a child like me I grew up in the Middle East okay in the Middle East they keep telling me that the Jews they are monkeys the Jews are monkey okay so I grew up 
I believe that the Jews are monkeys. I'm not not necessarily believe, but so the first time I saw a Jew, I was looking at his ass to see if he have a tail or he have a red ass. And I wanna. I was curious to see where is the monkey, because this is what they told me that the Jews are pigs and monkeys. You go to the school. What you what you learn about the Jews? They are pigs and monkeys. So if you grow up in such a, an environment, the teacher, the government, the TV, the, the textbook, everybody is saying the same. Well, here we go. This is what's called a brainwash. You know what I mean? That's brainwash. The same as the liberals. You know, I find actually Islamic, Islamic uh, uh, terrorism is the same as liberalism. If you remember when uh, Trump, he won the election, the liberal they start burning uh, uh, cars, uh, burning stores in San Francisco, right? You remember? Uh, let's see if we can find some news in Google. I'm sure many of you remember. And they carry the Palestinian flag, and you know, I mean, crazy stuff. You can search in Google and find the guy. He is not even elected yet. I mean, just they just announced, and they start burning cars, attacking stores, etc. So they practice their own terrorism, and they claim that they are freedom fighters. Like there is a group. It's called uh, Antifa. Anyone know Antifa? Antifa, if you are a person who don't agree with them and they are liberals, they will beat you up in the street. You know, they beat you up. They are liberals. So they speak too much about democracy, but the fact they are not democratic people. They call themselves democratic party, but they are anti-democracy. They don't believe in democracy. Look at this. All of this is done by them. When when Obama he won the election, how many cars did the, the Republican they burned? Zero. It's a fact. It's a fact. Zero. <laughs> you know. So if you are wondering where where this is coming from, education. Those are kids. They grow in the schools. They teach them that government is evil. The army is disgusting. Uh, uh, you know, uh, like I remember when I, I was in California and uh, 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 I was going to the army station, you know, wearing uh, the army uh, uh, gear and uniform. Uh, the, there's a girl in the in McDonald's. She was like giving me the sandwich as if I am like a piece of garbage. You know, they look at you like you are in the army. They are disgusting. Shame on you. <laughs> you know like like what everywhere you know if you are in the army you are serving the country you're a good person not for them for them you are in the army you are a disgusting person that's why the lowest number of people who joined the army in USA is from California you know they, they will carry any flag except USA flag They are not, and they call them themselves Antifa, but I see them that they are anti-America, anti-truth, anti-freedom, you know. And you have to agree with them. If you don't agree with them, they are the same as Islam. You don't agree with them, you know, they burn your car and uh, they threat your life. And you know, yeah, This is how it is. Let us see if somebody is texting me in Skype. I think I heard somebody. Look like nobody. Uh, Zaki, Zaki, he, you know, he did not have enough from yesterday. He's asking me, can you prove to me that Samad, you remember the Samad, can you prove to me that Samad was an idol around the Kaaba? 
you know what summit was in either around the Kaaba but this guy I mean those people are really weird you see summit uh, uh, summit a summit is an Aramaic word it's an Aramaic word and this Aramaic word can be used as a name or can be used as definition for let us say an act or a, um, a tool so Samad uh, let me show you what Samad is Uh, I'm trying to remember what the name they use in uh, like street language in Arabic. Um, mm -hmm. You see this guy, he insists to change our topic, but it's okay. Let us try. What they call it in English, guys, I don't know if anyone saw such a thing. They made it from uh, clay. Uh, they made a container and they put a hole in it. And you put your money inside. Anyone knows what they call it? I'm just trying to find out. Yeah, but not saving money. Piggy bank. Let us see the piggy bank. I, I look in the Arabic world, I could not find anything in Google. In pictures, I mean. Yeah, you know, it's a close. It's here they are making it like a pig, but this is not really what I'm looking for. Anyway, uh, in, in the Aramaic language, there is something is called al masmuda. Samad. Samad is the collective, the collection. So if Allah is Ahad and He is a Samad, uh, and He is the collective, you know, He is a collection of what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, if we go and see the, the, uh, the interpretation for the Quran. <clears throat> Let us see. Mr. Jackie, Jackie, why you don't call me? Call me, Jackie. I wanna, I wanna show you something. Jackie is a is a is a person who is soon is going to leave Islam. <clears throat> I 
Are you there, Jackie? Because he will keep, uh, you know, uh, annoying me until we got him busted like yesterday. Are you there, Jackie? Let us call him. Jackie is saying, if you cannot prove that, you are lying. Hello? Hey, Jackie, how are you? I'm not, I, I'm not Jackie. I'm uh, Zaki. Uh, Zaki, Zaki, sorry, I, it's my fault. Okay, so if I show you right now, are you willing to leave Islam or you are just making things up? If you show me, mm -hmm. then maybe. Okay, but why you don't make a promise of a man? Because you are accusing me of lying, and either Christian Prince is lying, or he's not. So, you know, you have to give me a reason to believe that you are a you man. Said, you said that Ahad was an idol, but you lied. No, I did not lie. Here we go. Here we go. Because if a Samad is a lie, is a is a is a uh, is an idol, that means Ahad he is the same as a Samad, is it? So what? Okay. If a, if is a Samad, is he an idol? No. Okay. Well, here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. I will put it for you in the screen, and you have to leave Islam immediately if you are a man. This is Ibn Kathir. <coughs> it says here. وقد ذكر محمد بن إسحاق وغيره أنهم كانوا يعبدون الصنما أصناما فصنم فصنم يقال له صمد. Do you see it? It's in the screen. I can't see. It's in the screen. And I can change. I can change the page. You know, make it uh, for you uh, in Google Translation if you wish. Okay. Do you want me to do that? Yes. Okay. But you promise me if this is true, you will leave Islam, right? You have to prove that the Muslim and they they, they took this as an idol. Well, it's it, uh, this is the name of the idol. Uh, okay, if the name if the Samad is an idol, and then you call Allah is a Samad, isn't it obvious? Here we go. He is Samad. They called him Samad. Do you see it? This is the book of Ibn Kathir. Translated. Huh? Translated. I did. Here we go. This is Google translation. It's cheaper Google translation. <laughs> Leave Islam right now. Be a man. Ahad is the same as a samad. Isn't it? Isn't it the verse says, "Qul huwa Allahu ahad." Allahu samad. Allah is ahad. Allah is a samad. Samad is an is, a, is an idol. They were worshiping. They were worshiping idol, and his name is samad. Muhammad ibn Ishaq and others they mentioned the following that they worship an idol and the name of the idol is a Samad where is this? this is Ibn Kathir What we will do now, you will leave you will leave Islam or not? You will leave send me the link. No, no, no. Okay, I will send you the link. You will leave Islam or not? You are are you a man of your promise or not? If you if you can prove that the Muslim took this as as God, then yes. My friend, don't the Quran says Allah is a Samad? Yes or no? Yes, but it does not okay. mean that Allah Samad. Okay, like, look, 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 look how you change. Look, look here how you change your challenge. You said to me, prove to me that a Samad is an idol. Did you say that? And you said to me, if you did not show me, show me, that's when you are lying. Did you say that or not? Who is, what is VSNM? No, no, I'm asking you, did you, did you say to me in the text, no. show me where that the Samad is an, a name of an idol. Did you say that to me? Or On I'm, the screen it said VSNM, what is that? My friend, what is same there? This is the translation, Google translation. This is a stupid Google. 
That is saying, did you say to me that if you show me that the word Samad is a name of an idol, otherwise you are lying? Did you say that to me? And then I challenge you, I said, okay, if I show you, uh, are you going to leave Islam? You said maybe. But you have to, you have to prove that the Muslim took this as God. My friend, his name is a Samad. This is a name of an idol. You said that the Prophet uh, stole red bikini. Don't change the to don't change the topic, potato. Don't change the topic. Why are you changing the topic now? And yes, your prophet, he stole bikini. Okay, don't share the topic first. Don't don't share the topic. Uh, uh, potato, don't share the topic. Uh, you see, I stopped my program just for you. Be a man. I, I did not see it. What do you mean, do not see it? Send me the link. Oh, you want the link? Here we go. This is the link in Arabic. I will post it in the chat so everybody can see it so look what happened now look how those people they have no dignity he made me change my program from speaking about uh, Ebola and etc just to show him and now he, he will not leave Islam here we go we show you that Samad is an idol And just to show you how the how how they they fool people here we go this is Ibn Kathir in English they show you that they call it they call the name here they say they and they call him Samud but they took the word Samad what is the word Samad this is the verse in Arabic it says Samad this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic it says Samad who said who said this Ibn Kathir he did not it's in the front of you I just gave you the link you idiot it did not say Ibn Kathir said it. He, uh, who, this is the book of who? It, <laughs> Ibn, Kathir, Ibn Kathir, Abdul, potato, Abdul. Ibn Kathir saying that Ibn Ishaq said and many others that those they used to worship idols, Fasanamun yuqalu lahu Samad. And there is, they're used to worship many idols. One of them, his name is Samad. And the other one, his name is Samud. And the other one, his name is Al-Haba. So who is talking there? Ibn Kathir. He is reporting what the scholars they said. Now apologize and say to me that I am leaving Islam because this is a pagan cult. You challenge me to show you. You see the coward he hang up. And they say to me why I block them. I'm going to block you right now because you're a coward. Fifi told you that this, there's no this, there's no such a thing. Fifi is a potato. This is why he don't dare to call me. It's in the front of your eyes. Anyone who speak Arabic, he can see it. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. وقد ذكر محمد بن إسحاق وغيره أنهم كانوا يعبدون أصناما فصنم يقال له صمد. This is one of the names of your God. So Ahad and Samad is one God. This is what the Quran is saying. And the other idol, his name is Samud. And the other idol, his name is Al Haba. <laughs> I challenge you, Ibrada and Fitr, if you can show me that the word Samad, you know, is, 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 what a potato. So look, we change our topic, and, they, and later he will call me again, and he will he will he will ask me for something else. Don't ever call me again. You are not a man. You are a fly. And I don't wanna make my shoes dirty by a fly. I smash it. So we change our program, our topic, just to answer him. And look. And here we go again. I'm going to post. You count, even if you don't speak Arabic. You count the first line, second line, third line, and the fourth line. The fourth line, not the first word, not the second word, the third word. That is Samad. 
Why Muslims they like to be spanked by Christian prince? This is why those potatoes who they claim they can refute me, they don't dare to debate me. They make videos and those stupid ones, they follow them. They are like bugs. You know, Fifi, he said that, you know, he challenged you. Where it says that. If Fifi is a donkey, you do not know. Here we go. You follow Fifi. This is what happened when you follow Fifi. This is why they don't dare to call me. And if you see his text, you are a liar. I challenge you. Show me where it says that. <laughs> okay, we go back to our. I apologize, guys. <laughs> but it's good to get them busted, isn't it? I challenge you. I challenge you. I challenge you. You have no idea you're talking to who. This is why your potato, the one you are learning from, he don't dare to call me because he knew. He, you, you are saying exactly what he said, and this is exactly what will happen to him if you call me. This is why he don't call. And look here at the corruption. You see, in the English translation, the word Samad is gone. There's no Samad. They took it on purpose. Anyone who knew Arabic, he can read it. And even we use Google translation. Why in English we cannot, uh, we can, uh, in the English translation of Ibn we cannot find it. They, they mentioned the word Samud. There's an either his name is Samud. Where is the word Samad? It's gone. totally gone and we can show you the stuff here from the official government website of the of the kingdom of jordan so people will not say oh he's making things up here we go this is the official government of of jordan and this is the book of ibn kathir so why we cannot find it in english but we can't find it in arabic because simply they are trying to hide from you the truth that islam is a scam here we go this is the official government website of the King of Jordan who claimed to be descendant from Muhammad himself. No wonder he is a fraud. Fly. You are a fly. All right. How many of you uh, uh, saved the link? This is the last time I will post it, if you are interested. All right, we go back to our topic. CV, I said, no CP, it doesn't say that CP. And they say to you, Christian Prince, he hang up on Muslims. <laughs> You are talking to Christian Prince, my friend. If I leave my toes, my toes, or toes, what toes, toes? My toes, huh? Behind the microphone, debating ten Muslim imams, my toes will win. Not because of the knowledge of my toes, but because of the smell. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> All right, we go back to our topic. Until now, I did not receive anyone when I, I think because of the title news, you know, Christians, they don't want to, uh, okay, we have somebody trying to want to call. All right, let's call this person. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. All right. Would you like to say to us, uh, you know, people are listening? Um, Did you hear our topic, what we are talking about? Did yeah. I'm from Indonesia. I just want to share the news here about right. the ex Indonesian ISIS that want to come back here, you know. ISIS, they are coming to Indonesia? ex uh, Indonesian, you know, want to come back here again, you know. Uh, they, they are, you are saying, no one ISIS, Syria, and, and now you know. they are going to come back, yeah. Well, the Indonesian government, they no. have, they, they should, uh, uh, if they if they allow them to come, they should put them in jail forever, you know. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Yeah, or they can send, me, the or, or they can send, me to, send them to me. 
I wish. Yeah, actually, I will not. I will treat them nicely, but I will torture them every day, showing them how stupid the Quran. I will not harm them. I will put them in a room, and I will start making. I, I will force them to listen to my broadcast, showing them how stupid the Quran is. And then you will see they will leave ISIS Maybe forever. Maybe they can change. Yeah. And Maybe. If, any, Maybe. Yeah. Anything else, uh, sister? No. Want to say anything? You want to share? No. I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you very much for calling. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Actually, this is the best punishment for ISIS. Just to bring them put them in a building and put Christian Prince in front of them and say, look, I'm a Christian Prince here, Abdul, listen, what if I show you right now that your God, Allah, is is made from the, the sweat of the horses? From what? Sweat of the horses? CP, it doesn't say that, CP. I challenge you, CP. How embarrassing. How embarrassing. Now, this is Syria war. You see that the Erdogan, who is trying to be the caliphate of the Muslims, he uh, he wanted to protect the terrorists, Al-Qaeda and those terrorists in the north of Syria. But Erdogan is a potato. You know what potato mean? This guy is so, this, this guy is very, very strong. If you are small, tiny, weak, he is a hyena. And this is an example of Islamic government regimes. When you are weak, they are lions. When you are the lion, they are cats. In the best scenario, they are little tiny dog. <clears throat> so Erdogan, when he wanna fight with the Syrian army, which is weak army, you know, eight years of war, you know, I mean, very tired. I mean, eight, eight nine years of war, actually. So he's a, he's a hyena. He want to destroy them. The second the Iranian, they show their teeth. Uh, Erdogan is farting. The second he uh, Putin, he talk. Erdogan is doing poo poo. And this is a, the example of how those uh, you know Islamic regime they function. This guy he wanted to establish a territory for all the mujahideen in the world so he can use them and control them he have a war in libya he sent them there to fight for him he have a war in yemen he will send them there to any any place where turkey needs somebody to fight for her as a country they will send those people this is remind me there's a too much similarity between uh, hassan al-hashash any, anyone knows who is hassan al-hashash who knows who is hassan al-hashash let me see if I can find something for you in English. Until now, no information. Okay, I'm sure you there's there is you know, uh, but uh, I don't know what the name they use in English. Let us see. Okay, we found the website. Uh, it's called Wise Geek. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but uh, just you know to share. Some, uh, uh, I hate those websites who you cannot read anything in them unless you click at their uh, commercial. The word assassin is coming from this guy, Al Hashash. You can search his name by yourself and you can read about him. Hassan ibn Sabah, founded of the assassins in the 1090. 
he is, uh, uh, you know, he is considered to be a Shia. This is Erdogan. Hassan al-Hashash. He bring every filthy terrorist in the world. He promised him heaven, drugs. This is what they give them. They give them drugs in north of Syria. Women, they kidnap women. They bring them blonde women from Bosnia, from Turkey, prostitutes. And then when there is a need for war or assassin, they will send you what they call the Mujahideen. The word assassin, maybe many of you do not know, it's coming from Muslims. The word assassin is not a, a, a Western word. It's coming from Muslims. The first ones who established the business empire of assassin, this guy, he have no army except assassin army. They don't go ready for war. The assassin. So what al he do, first he, he, he establish a castle. Uh, he bring uh, young men food free food free drinking dancing wine do whatever you want and every day there's a class you have to join to listen to the teaching of al hashash how about heaven what you will the virgins they will be waiting for you and we are serving god etc so and then the hashash he will send a letter to a king or a prince and he will say to him you have 14 days or 15 days to send me etc money otherwise i will assassinate you And this guy, he was be able to make billions of dollars at that time. Because every king in the Middle East or every prince, he fear him. Why? Because his followers, they are willing to die. How, how this does work? You know, he bring you, you are a young youth. Let us say you are 16, 17, you know. You want to have sex, you want to drink, beautiful women, for free, all for free. He make you stay in his castle for six months, seven months, a year, maybe. And then after that, and hashish, by the way, they give them drugs, hashish. That's why they call them al-hashashin. The other name they call them is al-hashashin. Hashashin coming from the word hashash, which means hashish, hash, hash. All right. So after, after six or nine months or a year, he, they bring you, they say, oh, listen, you have a duty to do. You do it. You come back here. If you don't do it, you cannot come back. Go and kill this guy. Go and kill this guy. So you are a prince or you are a king. This guy, he will find anyway, like the king walking between the crowd, you know, uh, he would jump on him. He don't care. He want to die or, you know, die or go back to the castle, drinking, hashish, wine, women, you know, etc. And this is how this guy became so rich. And this is Erdogan of the century today. He think he can do the same business as Hassan al-Hashash. Well, you know, it's brainwashed, but in the same time, I mean, it's a drugs, drugs, sex. You know, you want to live in heaven, in earth? Here we go, we have heaven for you. You don't need to work, nobody work. This guy, al-Hashash, became so rich because one, one letter he sent to a prince is enough to cover all his men for the coming two or three years. Just one, you know, because he sent the letter, says, pay me this or die. Everybody pay. Because they notice that if you don't pay, you will die. He will never leave you alone. The first the first attempt did not work. He will send you the second guy, the third guy, the until he kill you. And this is where the word assassin is coming from. And this is telling you what Islam is about. It is the source of evil. Anyone they don't like, they assassin. You know, if a Christian prince, he if, if a Christian prince live in an area which is he, you know, they can't get their hand on them. How how long how long Christian prince he can live, you think? How many how many seconds? Not how many hours. No. And then this guy, his map was growing. Like he have a map. I mean, he was controlling a big, huge territory all the way from Iraq, from Persia, all the way to Syria. Imagine, he became like an emperor.
yeah you know uh, well, there's there's things we don't talk about unless there is a reason so there's a lot of interesting uh, uh, history to learn and um, today you learn something new that the word assassin is an Islamic word it's a big business uh, you know assassin is the core of Islam Muhammad himself he sent his men to assassin Abu uh, 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 let's see what his name forgot Abu Akf I forgot his name really he's a Jewish guy he's like a, a hundred something years old assassin Muhammad he practiced assassin since the beginning of his business so the first prophet and the first assassin man is Muhammad they send he send his man to your door his man he say uh, I am a guy need some help you open the door they stab you Hmm? You know, we, by the way, like if we have to give reference, we can give reference easy. In case you are Abdul who is saying this is not true. Right? So Erdogan, uh, a very evil person, and he is taking advantage that Western these days Europe, you know, Europe became like a, I don't know, it's like a, 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 it used to be before, let us say, a German shepherd dog, and today it became a fluffy dog, like a decoration. So Erdogan, he, you know, he knew that uh, Europe now controlled by liberals, and they are not into war, and nobody want to go in war. So he can play whatever he wants, he can do whatever he wish. And even Trump, he is being very kind with Erdogan, you know, extremely actually. He is not doing any harsh stuff with him. And I think because Trump here being a hypocrite, he have a business in Turkey. He have a lot of real estate in Turkey, this is why. I believe this is the main reason. Otherwise, I don't see any reason for, for, uh, for Trump to be uh, soft with Turkey after all what they do. Uh, as an example, he arrested a Christian priest uh, for almost nine months. And the guy is proud about it and Trump he forced him to release him but you should not just force him to release him you should you should force this guy to get out from his business you can do it this is America he can you know Trump he can humiliate the whole country easy Turkey is a bankrupt country they get a lot of income from USA army it's a big business Let us see how you know that Shaib al Jari narration in Paul Ibn Kathir is authentic. Uh, my friend, somebody is asking me about the narration of about Paul is authentic. I mean, this is a very stupid question to ask because if it's not authentic, why you put it there? Because if it's not authentic, it's not authentic, it's not worth to be there. I don't know. People are silly. <laughs> How you know? <laughs> the question will go for you. How you know? And if you know, why is there? And how Ibn Kathir even can find it's authentic? Why he was there? He was living with Muhammad. He witnessed who was saying what he talk and what he mean and what he say. I mean, it's stupidity. And who said only Ibn Kathir? He said there is tons. We have tons of books. Uh. You know, sometimes I feel like people, they have a low IQ when they discuss at, and even the question is made in a funny, low IQ way. Because how you can be sure that this hadith is authentic? The question is for you. If it's not authentic, why it's in your book? It's in your book, not in my book. It's like saying to me, this is a rat and you want to cook it and eat it. You heard the Muslim saying it's not authentic. Who cared? I, I give you the answer. Give us the reference. It's not authentic. Did he give you the reference? <laughs> I heard. He heard. I heard. She said. He said. <laughs> what a stupid religion. I mean, everything is I heard. He heard. She said. He said. But there's no. And, and the funny, they speak about authentic. 
when everything they tell us, even the one they call it authentic, is about I heard, he heard, she said, he said. How he ha how he said can be authentic anyway. Because somebody now can say Christian Prince said, but like nobody, there's no witness. Like now we have you know, video and recording, but even that you can do editing for it. So what do you mean he said, she said? Stupidity. <clears throat> yeah, don't don't text me, my friend, about this topic. If you have a question, post it in the in the chat there. We open Skype so Christian can call us if they want to call. Use your your use your you know your uh, your brain, you know, and this is why they don't dare to debate me, because when I hear their questions, I laugh right away, you know. Not not only we speed them with the answer, we know the answer even before the question, but we speed them with intelligence. Actually, the excuse they are giving you as an insult to Islam, because if this is not true, why in their book they are saying this? Uh, this is stupid. You know what I mean, guys? Let us say I'm a person who is a Muslim scholar. I want to explain the Quran for you. Why I am saying something is not accepted. What the point? You get the point there. <laughs> Great stupidity. As they say in China, he left as a donkey, never came back as a horse. Somebody's saying, how is your shoulder? Thank God, it's a lot better. Uh, it's Still, there is little pain, but, uh, you know, it's 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 way better than uh, before. It's getting better. Maybe by tomorrow, I will be uh, ready to do karate again. Don't fight with me right now. I'm weak. Yeah, my friend, don't text me in Skype to ask me questions. If you have a questions... Text me only. I mean, send the question only in the chat. Otherwise, I will ban you. If everyone have a question, he will text me in Skype. I have tens of thousands. I don't know even how this program, Skype, can fit all those names. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, we, uh, we the Arab, we are the founder of Karake. Hmm? Uh, actually, we have to be honest. The Jews are before us. If you remember the story of uh, <clears throat> uh, of a Prophet Moses, a Prophet Moses, he was the founder of Kung Fu FM. Do you remember when the, when the angel come to take the life of Moses <clears throat> which is obviously a true story you know I mean put yourself in the shoes of uh, Let us see the hadith. <clears throat> All right. Here we go, Kung Fu. First degree Kung Fu. Uh, Abu Huraira, Abu, uh, Abu mean father. The word Abu mean father. This is an Aramaic word uh, used in Hebrew too, in Arabic. So Abu Huraira, the father of the cats, Huraira is like a, a spoiled name of cats, reported that Allah Messenger having said that the angel of death came to Moses and said, Respond to the call of Allah. Mean. Which means, i.e., prepared for death. Musa, uh, you know, Musa is a Jew, you know. So the Jew Musa said to him, Habibi, Habibi, hey, Habibi, hey, Habibi. You want to take me to death, Habibi? We have election, Habibi. We have to finish with Netanyahu first, okay? 
He cannot take me, Habibi, now. The angel of death is very serious. He said again to Moshe, Moshe, prepare for death. Moshe answered, and he's laughing, <laughs> Habibi. <laughs> Habibi, okay, get it close, Habibi, get it close. Yeah, get more close, Habibi. I want to tell you, I want to whisper to you, Habibi. And then, you know, uh, Moshe you know, and the angel is naive. He's an angel, you know. You don't know. You don't know what Moshe is going to do. So you get it closer. Get it closer, Habibi, get it closer. Come on, Habibi. Habibi, get more closer, Habibi. Okay, get more closer, Habibi. <laughs> and what happened? He gave him a blow at the eye and the angel of death and knock it out look at this man from the first hit if you ever meet Moshe don't ever get too close to him he's very dangerous and wanted and very heavily armed with his arm what is this man Prepare for, prepare for death, Habibi. Musa, he did beat him, knock his eye out. And then the angel, he went back to Allah. Look at this, look at this Fifi angel. What? I mean, if I am Allah, I will fire this angel. You are an angel with 600 wings. And then a guy, he is five, six foot, foot. He's a human. And you are the angel of death. He knock you out and he take your eye. Which eye, by the way? I mean, really, which eye? I'm, I'm serious. Which eye? Which eye? Hmm? I hope it's not the eye of life, the fountain of youth. The angel went back to Allah, the exalted, for sure the exalted, and said, You send me. You send me to a servant who does not like to die. Okay. And he, he knocked me out in the eye. What the heck? I'm so glad at that, that time there was no coronavirus. Because Moshe not only will knock his eye, he will open his mouth, he will put a coronavirus in his mouth, and he will make the angel of death die. True story, brother. Christian Prince, do you have an authentic reference for this? This is Sahih Muslim. Even the book, it's called Sahih, is not Sahih. Hmm? Allah, brother, we have a good news, good news, finally, brother, Allah, he good in restoring stuff. Allah restored his eye to its proper place. I'm so glad, man, he put it in the proper place. I was afraid he would put it in his belly bomb. I mean, not only he restored it, he restored it to the proper place. I mean, isn't that amazing? How many of you want to de convert to Islam right now? Look, Allah, look, look, look. It's a miracle. He restored it to the proper place. Not in the nose, brother. Not in the belly by, um, by mistake. Allah is not blind. Allah, he see, brother. Allah is all seeing, all hearing, including your fart. Unbelievable. Stupidity is amazing. Wa alaykum as ya Muhammad. Kayfa halak ya rajul? If you want me to call you, text me, don't just call. Uh, I have a question about why Christ came to the Jews while they already have been told by God in the Torah. Uh, I mean, this is not even a question because why why Christ will not come to the Jews if those are the only people who worship God? He will come to who? So it's very normal that he will be born of the Jews for Mary. She have to be a wonderful person, believer in God, a holy temple of God where God is going to be born from that woman. Because remember, Jesus is not just uh, is not a coming uh, a person coming in a spaceship, is born of a woman. So that women have to be chosen women, 
from who from the chosen people why they are chosen because they chose God so the answer is very simple now when a Muslim he says a question like this why Jesus came to the Jews should you ask him the same question if the Jews will not accept Jesus anyway why Allah he sent him to the Jew Allah don't know <laughs> You see, always learn how to flip the table on the fool. Their questions is a question is a foolish questions. If you switch the question on them, they will be in trouble. Are we listening, guys? Any question the Muslim they give it to you. Switch it back on them, they will cry. As an example. The Muslim, they will say to you, the Bible is corrupt, brother. Don't they say that? Zaki, he left Islam? What Zaki left Islam? Isn't it, this is the same guy he called me a second ago? Did he leave Islam? Where, where are you, Zaki? Did he decide to leave Islam? I blocked him. <laughs> He cannot call me back <laughs> because of what he did. <laughs> well, if you left Islam, good for you, what I can do. You want to call me, make a new name, Robert. that's it, you are blocked. I lost my patience with you. Yeah, welcome to the club, my friend. There's thousands and thousands of people before you who call me names, reject what I am saying, they accuse me of lying, and then they find it's true. Anything I say about it in the screen, I show it, everybody can read it, and you know, there's no way you can say it's not there. Yeah, but Zaki, you have to make a new name now because I blocked you. Sorry. So, <coughs> going back to the topic, when the Muslim they say to you, as an example, the Bible is corrupt. Don't defend, don't say, no, it's not corrupt. No, no. Just tell him, okay, thank you. The Bible of Allah, brother, is corrupt. The second you say the Bible of Allah, the Muhammadan, he will he will pick up his diaper. He will go, he will switch to, to the to the homeless mood. Uh, you are insulting Muslims. <laughs> you are being rude, you are Finnish, you are a boy. Look, hold on. What what Finnish? What boy? What 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 dummy hummy? What what is that? Is it the Quran says that Allah is the one who sent the Injil and he is the one who sent the Torah? So you are saying to me that the Torah and the Injil which sent by Allah is corrupt. So what my business? Don't defend. In a second he will be crying. Do you see it? Uh, guys, are you listening? Do you understand what I'm saying? When they say to you the Bible is corrupt, the Injil is corrupt, the Torah is corrupt, don't defend. Just say to him, okay, okay, we got it. The Injil of Allah is corrupt. Allah is a stupid. Anyone can spank him, change his book. In a second, the Abdul, he will go to the victim mood. Christian Prince, you are insulting us. You are finished. You are finished, boy. Oh, okay. True story. So what, what I'm trying to say to you, they have, most of them, they don't even think when they ask the questions. Their questions is against them. The problem is that sometimes we do the same as they do. We switch to defend mood with our thinking. Take it easy. This is how I fight Islam. Uh, they throw rocks at me. A lot of rocks. And then I collect all the rocks. I make them a big concrete piece. I throw them back at them. As simple as that. Hmm? All right. Let us see, do we have any... All right, look like today not many people want to call. I don't know. 
Can you explain Paul again? My friend, there is no need to explain. There is tons of reference, the Muslim themselves, in their reference, in their book, saying that this messenger, the third one, his name is Paulus. That's it. Now, if the Muslim, they are saying that those hadith are not authentic, that means Islam is stupid. Because if it is not authentic, why their book saying it is Paul? I mean, he is a scholar. The one who wrote the book is a scholar. As an example, Fifi, in one of his videos, somebody sent it to me. Uh, he said, No, CP, Al Lucy is quoting the Christian CP. He was not quoting, read the, the, the page. Nowhere there is some quoting the Christian's liar. And then he said, The proof, CP, that the Christians, they claim that they are the one beloved by Allah, CP. Stupid idiot. What does this have to do with this? That is about a three messengers sent by God. Not about three messengers claiming to be beloved by God. And they are the children of God. There's no connection. So he could not find where it says he is quoting because he's a potato. He says the proof CP in chapter 5 verse 18 CP the Christian and the Jews they say we are the sons of God not on Allah we don't believe in Allah and his beloved CP you idiot what does this have to do with that verse nothing that verse nowhere is speaking about this and those are the true believers in Christ here this verse here according to Islam those are not a true ver the believer in Christ because simply they have wrong teaching the other three, they are true messengers already. Not only they are believers in Christ, they are messengers of God. Stupid thing. Look, low IQ. Low IQ. It's not my fault if you have low IQ, my friend. You have deficiency in the creation of your God who made you, according to you. You know, when Muhammad, he said, uh, women, they are going to go to hell. According to him, women, they are deficient in their brain. And look how stupid he is. By saying that, he said that Allah himself is deficient. Because if women, they have deficiency, the deficiency is coming from where? From the maker. Is that correct, guys? Is that correct? As an example, let us say, uh, BMW they made a car and then we find that the car have deficiency have a problem mechanic or whatever electronic who is the to blame the car or the maker what do you think we should blame who the car or the maker the maker obviously Muhammad he claim he, he blame the idiot uh, the, the the one is me, not the not the creator. So he he claimed that women they are half a brain, and the proof that one man is equal to two women as a witness, and women they are uh, def, they have deficiency because simply uh, they have their menstruation. But who is the one who made them have menstruation? Isn't it Allah? <laughs> so you blame them for having deficiency, and you call it deficiency, you idiot. When the one who made them have that is Allah, and yet you claim that they will go to hell because of menstruation? That is the most stupid argument ever. Am I heard, guys? I think my voice is good, right? If you have difficulty in the voice, refresh the page. Do you see it? Women, they have deficiency. What their deficiency? They have deficiency in their brain and in their private part. This is the wisdom of a prophet. He claimed to be a prophet of God. Obviously, he is mentally ill. That is not deficiency. There is stupidity of you. And by the way, do you know why women, they have menstruation? Why women, they have menstruation in Islam? Who knows? Who knows? As long as we are talking about this. Why women they have menstruation? I will tell you why. According brother to Islam brother that Allah when he created the women 
He created them without ministration. And then a brother, some women, a brother, I think there are 72 women or 70, some they say 700, they start going to a party and they are mixing with men. So Allah, he punished them and he made them have ministration. True story. Now, if you have my books, if you have sex in Allah, uh, you can read it with the reference. True story. Absolutely true story. <clears throat> All right, we have a caller. Hello? Hi, ACP. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Um, can I ask a question other than the one in the title or the title? Okay, what is the, what is the question? Um, is it possible that uh, maybe someday, whenever you have time, okay. uh, is it for, is possible for you to make a video regarding um, the love jihad? Uh, regarding what? Uh, love jihad. You know that um, people in America and in Europe now, uh, the immigrant, they are now uh, deceiving the women over there to get the married, but um, actually um, they try um, to have a Muslim family. Love jihad. It's a love jihad. Love jihad. I did not hear about this. So they, they, they. Okay. So what they do? They, uh, they marry a Muslim to to bring them to Europe. You mean? Um. Um. The immigrant, the Muslim immigrant, they marry uh, American and European uh, women, mm. and then um, they force the women to be Islam. Yeah. And they force the children uh, to uh, to have an Islam religion as well. Mm, okay. Well, you know, uh, you see, for me, I believe that such a thing, if it's happening, it's not the fault of the Muslims. It's the fault of the fool who who uh, you know who involved in this. So, if there is a woman, she is stupid, and uh, she lives in America, and then somebody he forced her to convert to Islam in America. Nobody can force you, you know. So, if she became a sex slave for him, that means she is stupid, and she deserves what happened to her. You know, in America, nobody can force anyone. I mean, if the husband, he beat the wife, he will go to jail. As simple as that one phone call, you will be in jail for a long time. So don't blame the Muslims for anything they do, especially in those cases. Blame and the one. Blame, no, blame, I, I, yeah. sorry, sorry to cut you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't blame the Muslim. Only maybe if you make a video. Oh, you mean, okay, about a, that. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I, I think I, I spoke about this many times before. Yeah, I spoke about this many times before, that for the sake of uh, getting papers or uh, coming to the country or converting, Muslims don't care, they marry anyone. You know, uh, you will see a guy, he is 23 years old and he's marrying 70 years old women, you know, just because you want to get papers. Same time, as you said, maybe she will convert to Islam. So for him, like he is doing a, a holy uh, jihad, you know. Uh, and then after six months or a year or two, he divorced her, he got his papers and he is bingo, you know. Uh, but... I mean, this is not really uh, uh, something new. Those women, they knew it. I have a, I have a woman, I remember, she used to be in radio TV sta radio station in, uh, in England. She married a Muslim for six years, mm -hmm. not a year or two. And she had children from him. And then she found out that he go mm -hmm. to Jordan because he have a, a second wife, you know. He say he's going on vacation. Um, to visit his family, etc., his mom and his dad. And later she found out that he is he's married to uh, another woman, and he was lying to her. And look, suddenly now she became anti-Islam. So for six years she was working in Islamic radio station, promoting Islam, you know? So here, who is the one really is hypocrite? The women. Because, so for six years... <laughs> Maybe the woman doesn't know about the real how it no uh, problem. Is, uh, no, Islam. No, no problem. But look, look, this 
if she do not know about Islam, how she promote Islam? Secondly, if she knew about Islam, it is bad, and she promote Islam, and she decide later to expose Islam just because the husband he left her or she is divorced now. That means she is a she's a trashy person, because you promote Islam for six years just because you have a man in the bed. He's a Muslim. And when he left you, you want to revenge from Islam by, by him leaving him? So which mean, if the guy stay, she will stay promoting Islam for the coming 20 years. So mm -hmm. there is a yeah, lot yeah. of... There is a, yeah, there is a lot of uh, people who they are, uh, you know, I mean, uh, we don't want to do the same as the Muslim blame the Jews for anything happen. Uh, uh, Muslims, yeah, they do jihad. And they do it in many ways. They marry women to convert them to Islam. They make the children become Muslims, etc. But at the end of the day, uh, don't blame the Muslims. The Muslims, they practice what they are supposed to do. But those American women, why in the world an American woman who believe in a freedom, she accept to marry a guy who want to make her wear a burqa, wear a hijab, and suddenly she became a uh, she uh, she's a person who pray and not only that she promote Islam she make videos about Islam and when the husband he leave her suddenly the Islam is bad that's mean she is she's a trashy too you know what I mean um yeah I, and, I understand and, and many maybe of them that's and the many of them for the American and the European but not for the Asian maybe or I maybe don't know about other, Asian I'm not, I'm not uh, continental I'm not talking about Asian I'm talking generally speaking there is many they do that you know, just for the sake of man in the bed, they change the religion, doesn't matter. I, I used to have a neighbor in front of me, uh, you know, I, I used to live in an apartment at that time. Uh, the first time I moved to that apartment, this woman, she's an American, she have a Sikh husband. She became Sikh. She wear clothes of Sikh, you know, you know how they dress. And then she married a Hindu. She became Hindu. You know, the, the first guy he left, I don't know if she. I don't know if she's married them or they are just boyfriend. I have no idea. Uh, but I see her. She, suddenly she became a Hindu because the the, the, new, the new boyfriend is a Hindu. Then she married a Muslim. Then she became a Muslim. I did not see her for long. Yeah, I did not see her for long. I, I you know I went to visit somebody like my neighbor. You know, after a few years, I went there. I uh, she opened the door. She is a Jew. Yeah, the bent the bent who is the man in the bed. So she uh, she is a Jew when the when the guy in the bed is a Jew she is a Hindu when the, the guy in, is a Hindu she is a Sikh she's a Muslim you know uh, in 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 Pal talk in Pal talk we used to have two uh, ladies uh, they use nicknames I don't know what their real name one uh, she called herself uh, mm -hmm. she called herself a spicy something like this and the other one I forgot really anyway those women they come to my chat room and they debate me supposedly mm -hmm. and then they convert to Christianity. Okay, Christians, uh, you know, welcome sister, etc. After two weeks, they go to Muslim rooms and they convert to Islam. The Muslim sister, Allahu Thank Akbar, God. Allahu Still Akbar, yeah, Allahu Akbar, sister, welcome, etc. She became, and then after a few weeks, they come back to my room and they became a Christians. Like what the heck, <laughs> you know? So, so then, then I, 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 uh, they came to me, you know. I said, listen. I don't care if you became a Christian or you want to be a Muslim, get out, get lost. I use the word get lost because those women, they are seeking attention. Mm. You know, they are, they, they have mental illness. Yeah, so, they deserve it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they, they convert to religion. So everybody suddenly start welcoming them, praising them. Welcome, sister. We love you. Add me, add me. Yeah, what is your Skype? So suddenly they became important, you know. So they became a Christian because when the Muslim, they start forgetting about them. They are not giving them attention. So then they became uh, uh, Muslim back. So the Muslim, so like it's like a, uh, they, they need they need attention. There's many people like this, and yeah. when a person he mm -hmm. need attention, they have he, psychological problems. Yeah. So they are not really seeking religion. They are seeking attention. They are desperate for something. Uh, so and sometimes depression can be in need of love or a man who care for you. Uh, you feel you are left home alone or or maybe you you feel that you didn't have a family like when you join the French culture you see like we are Middle Eastern Middle Eastern we are people family people you know like uh, like the Italian mafia you know like Tony bring the pizza and invite the cousins you know so like everybody come from everywhere and now here we go we have a party it's not like uh, Western families like in England you know uh, Mm. family is not too much strong so we have a culture and that make many attracted to us and especially middle eastern men middle eastern men are very protective if you go out with middle eastern man he will not let you pay for your dinner 
you know not like an american guy say like 50 50 you know uh, we are equal right hello mm -hmm. so you go to work you have to work right uh, a middle eastern man no you know he, uh, he, you stay home i am i'm the one so they, there is things western women they like about middle eastern men middle eastern men they spend money they buy gifts uh, uh, they are the same as like italian people so they see in a in a in, in the middle eastern man something they don't see in a western man as simple as mm -hmm. that and that what make them attractive so for them they don't care for religion those people already they are not caring really for uh, religion this is why they are wanting wanting to change their religion to have the man because it's it's not the interest it's not the religion the interest is the man mm -hmm. so in order to in order to fight this you have to educate uh, people you know and not to fail into such a trap and especially women not to be weak and used by by whoever you know use them yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if we see that, it means that it come back again to the family, right? The teaching in sure. the family. The family starts from when you are a child. You know, your mom, she is the first to school. Your, yes. mo your, your, your mother is the first to school. This is why it's very important yes. to have uh, an educated mother. That's why not everyone should, uh, I mean, I'm, I should not go and get married, a man or a woman, but especially the women unless I am ready to educate my children so I can protect them. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know? Because a child, the first words he learned, he learned from his mother. And then the, yes, the, 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 tongue. Yeah, the learning process uh, grow. And then he go to school. But in the beginning, the, the base, this is the concrete when you are a kid. Uh, as an example, if your child, he go to the neighbor and he steal a, a fruit from their garden. And he come to you, mom, look what I got. As you ask him, where you get this from? Oh, from the neighbor. She, if you say to him, go and get more, you just created a thief. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you say to him, shame on you, take it back there. He will never do it again. So most of the criminals, actually, they are criminals because they grow up in a wrong family, wrong mother, wrong yeah. daddy. So the wrong daddy, wrong mommy, they encourage them to do wrong like you are a child you sit in a house where your dad he beat your mom and he said the f word to her and she said the f word to him so what do you think about the child he will say the f word to, to both of them later <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's an yeah. it's an f word family so uh, uh, yeah because um the first the first uh, things to learn is from the family right exactly and the first thing a child a child is an open page whatever you write there is going to stay there you know Actually, not only not only about a crime. You see, a successful husband is a person who grow up in a smart, intelligent atmosphere. Not necessarily just the family. You know, like you know, some people they are lucky. They have like let's say they are gifted. Some people they are not. So if you are not a person who have a gift of intelligence, you can observe and you can find out what is right for you then you will be just an, a person who receive he don't uh, you see there's there's uh, there's a there's a uh, there's a can a trash can where we put plastic right this is for recycle mm -hmm. but there's a machine who make the recycle so there's a human being who is just like a can you put inside him whatever so if his ah. trash is going to be trash is going to stay mm -hmm. there as trash he will grow the trash or a human being who is a recycle person, which means even he is able to take the trash and make something good of it. But most of people, they are not qualified to do such a thing. So the majority, they take the trash and they stay with the trash and they grow up with it. And then he grow up as a trashy person and he spends his life a trashy person. So he do what he learned from a trashy and people even, to do. Even have a children, the trashy person as well, right? So it's just like a, a satanic circle. Say that again. Say that again. I don't understand one. <laughs> uh, he's a trashy person. Whenever uh, he has uh, children, the children will mostly will be the same as well. So it will be go, go around and around. Yeah, but as I'm saying, sometimes even if your family are crazy. Or let's say they have weird uh, behavior. Uh, some they are they can switch. They, they are they have the the recycle machine option. You know they can change the bad into good. But usually 
most of people they cannot do that so a child he will observe the bad and he will grow with it and he will find it normal so he practice it mm -hmm. right yeah and maybe uh, um, the reading it will be helpful for for people to learn reading not only helpful reading is the way to of, uh, of education you know for me if I don't read, I mean, uh, where where I'm bringing what I'm talking about? I mean, everything is something. We are not born with books in our head. We are not born with knowledge. Knowledge is something you grow, uh, you grow, and you feed. You have to feed it. It's like a tree. You have to water it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you know, yeah, there is true. there is a there is there is people they should not even get married ever. You know, because uh, 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 you know, if you if you if you cannot take care of your children, then you are making a crime against your children. If yes, you, yes. If, <laughs> yeah. So, and you know, like you you find a lot of people like like this. I mean, they don't care. Um, the woman she wanna go sleep around, and then she have a child. She don't even maybe know the father, and then she uh, she spend her life going from man to man. And then she had many children, and she don't know even who is the father of this guy. And, and this is not a healthy family, mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, yeah, you see, a child is a child. He, he uh, the existence of a man is necessarily, and the existence of a mother is mm -hmm. a necessity too. So if a man, yeah, he is taking care of a child, there is something missing in the life of the child. If a woman alone taking care of the child, there is something missing in the life of the child. However, if a man is missing in the life of a woman she still can take care of the child if she is intelligent and educated but it's harder yes, for the man mm -hmm. it's very hard for the man to do what the woman can do you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so mother is just like a pillar of the house right mother is the most important uh, person in the house uh, let us say uh, you know the, the husband is a security is the economy uh, is the provider, uh, the mother, is the the the, the teacher, uh, the warmer, uh, uh, because you know it's very important too that the child he feel warm when he is a kid. Otherwise, when he grow up, he will stay immature. You know, uh, uh, you you need to live your childhood as a child. Otherwise, you will act like a kid when you are. Uh, old this is why you will see somebody who did not have a good mother let us say uh, his mother she did not hug him she did not he did not live like, like a child so he is 60 years old but he want to he want to have a mommy not a wife you know yeah and same for yeah. same for uh, girls too you know she want to marry a guy who is really old because she want to have a daddy she did not have a daddy you know, she she mm -hmm. she feel like uh, she she something was missing in her life, so she want to have a daddy, so she marry a very old man. And the, and then a person yeah. who is not living a stable life when he was a kid or young, then he will try uh, to be young again when he is really old. That's why you see someone, she is seventy years old. Suddenly she is wearing very short skirt, acting if she is sixteen. Uh, because simply when she was a teenage her mom she, she was maybe tough she did not allow her to go out she did not allow her to wear a short skirt so now it's time for me to wear a short skirt in the wrong time you know so then they look awkward so they dress like a, like a teenage yeah. they act like teenage and they want to go like party. Teenager. yeah so when you miss something I'm trying to say when you miss something and that thing is supposed to happen to you when you are in a certain age that later is going to appear in you. Mm -hmm. you no, know, like a tree, like you know, uh, if you want to, if you want to study a tree, the cycle of the tree. If you cut the tree, you can see when the tree was sick, when the tree was healthy, when the tree was uh, when it was cold, when it was hot, because the the those cycles inside or the circles inside the tree is going to uh, is is the effect of life on them. Everything is written there. And the human being is the same. So whatever happened to you today is going to have an impact on you tomorrow. And I'm talking about you as a child. Mm -hmm. You know, this child, he will not be stable if you don't have a stable childhood. Most of uh, uh, yeah. people who commit crimes, 
especially like you know uh, let, let us say uh, a rapist a rapist is usually I believe he is somebody is angry from women and the anger the first anger starts from his mother no he's angry he's angry from women so he he cannot uh, he don't see in women uh, or he enjoy torturing women or taking from them something violently because one day when he was a kid so, uh, this is just like Muhammad then <laughs> well you know uh, uh, you know everything have a reason absolutely Muhammad he, he grow uh, if you go and read the history of Muhammad all the women in the family they rejected him to the point they gave him to a woman to nurse him you know because not one of the family want to nurse him but all of them they have kids but nobody want to nurse him so they rejected him and they sent him away to a woman to nurse him but they were women and that is telling you how much he was suffering as a child this is why when he grew up yeah. he did what it should not be done so he started humiliating women mm -hmm. controlling women abusing women making women equal to nothing because women abused him when he was a kid Mm -hmm. everything everything yeah. go mm -hmm. back yeah everything will appear one day it's life is the same as a mirror you know uh, it might not appear right away but it's it's, it's going to come uh, like you know uh, you know how the the sound work right sound wave so you say a word and you don't hear it no more but scientifically the word is still there it go like an infinite like endless mm -hmm. you know it's an energy the energy is there the word is there so i will maybe one day uh, they will create a machine can collect all the words people they, they spoke of in the past because it is there you know uh, people they spoke them we cannot hear them because our ear frequency cannot reach it no more so we can reach certain limited uh, uh, ability so like if we don't hear it doesn't mean it's not there same as like an insect uh, making a sound but we cannot hear it because we don't have the frequency like dogs they have a frequency mm -hmm. so which means uh, they hear things we don't hear right so if you don't hear yeah. it doesn't mean it's not there and that exactly the same what happened to people there's things affect their life you don't see it now because we don't have the frequency to see it the ability but those things will appear in your life later when you grow up and it doesn't matter yeah. how uh, how long you grow up i mean it can appear on you when you are 60 70 you know it can be when you are it's 30. Terrible. I mean, it's fear when we are old then <laughs> yeah, this is why this is why when you associate with people it's very important that you speak to the person deeply i mean like when when uh, when uh, uh, you know you want to take a friend so how you take a friend? Oh, what, what music you like? I mean, what does this have to do with the friendship? Okay, you, you wanna you wanna have a friend or just a person to talk to, to? So if you are trying to find a friend, you try to find the kind of a friend this person is, not the music they like. You know, who is he? How yeah. good he is? The That's quality. The quality is not about the music we listen to, not about the dish we eat. The quality is about how we think, decision we make, and how. Uh, uh, you know our response to it uh, somebody is asking question let me answer this question if you don't mind please uh, I grew up yes. with abusive father but I never hit my wife children because I don't want to live with uh, with miss I had experience see my friend I just told you I told you you remember I told you there's a person who collect the trash and he live with it and there is a recycle machine person right so here we have an we have a, a, a Gabriel. He is saying that he grew up with a father who is abusive, but he will never hit his wife. But that's mean. Is that exactly what I said? You are the kind of a person who observe the wrong and fix it. You recycle the trash, and you make it good in your life. But not everyone will be like you, my friend. And that's what I said. Not everyone yeah, have such. Not everyone have such a skill and ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And whenever uh, this person uh, found out uh, what's wrong with uh, their pastime, then um, he will be a good person because uh, he will try to avoid uh, the wrong things that uh, happen in the pastime, right? Yeah, but uh, but it can be the opposite. It can he copy his dad and he beat his wife. It can be the opposite. 
you know it can be totally the opposite that he go up in a family where the dad he beat his wife and he like it he think okay this is the right way you know yeah so it, it, this is about individual and individual ability but usually a child he copy what he see around him usually and he practice it later yeah you know like if i say to my son mm -hmm. don't steal but i am a thief uh, I don't, it's, it's not going to work. They will not believe you. It's not going to work, you know. Uh, yeah. So uh, uh, life is is a is a chain of reflection and uh, uh, impact, and is, uh, this is why actually, if you have uh, problems, uh, serious problems, wife and husband, they should not discuss it in front of the childrens, even if you think they are they don't understand. They do, you know, mm -hmm. and they and they will do it as they can understand, which means in their limit. And that can affect them badly. So, if you have a problem with your uh, with, with your husband, you should take a space where no kids can hear. You don't speak louder, loud, and you keep it between you and your husband. And the problem should not go to the child. It can live with him. He yes, can the child. He can imagine mm -hmm. one day his dad was screaming at his mom, even if he did not beat her, and his mother she is crying. He will remember that, you know. He will remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A child, he can remember a little tiny commercial he learned 20 years ago. Actually, I can recite for you a commercial I used to see in TV when I was six, seven years old. I can recite it right now, you know? Wow. Yeah, because, because this, is what, this is what child is. A child is a person who empty. I mean, it's an empty book. The memory is fresh. Anything will, will, mm -hmm. will come in the front of him is going to stay in that memory. This is why you have yeah, to be we'll very careful ahead. when you deal with your children. So if you have a if you have a problem, if you have a serious conversation, if you have a problem with your husband, if you wanna even if you wanna fight, okay, let the kids go somewhere. Take a, yeah. ask your sister to come and take them. You know, when you have argument, don't do those things in the front of your children. It should be behind the closed door, right? Uh, sorry. Say again. It should be behind the closed door. It should be where no children can hear you. As simple as that. Yeah. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, you are you are hurting the child for no reason, and he will not forget. Doesn't matter what doesn't matter what happened. Yeah. You know, and children they do they do what they learn. You know, if uh, if uh, if they see their parents they was fighting, they will think that this is the way to to solve problems. And you know, again, mm -hmm. uh, a human being are different, and you have to examine a person. There's many people they look calm, nice. Uh, elegant they dress nicely but the second you make them angry they are like a volcano and they are violent you know so you have so it to... means uh, does it mean uh, CP, does it mean that if you want to know uh, um, the character of the real person first you have to know how he's uh, how he is when he's getting angry exactly exactly the best way to know a person how he is is to with him under difficulty a pressure you know Difficulty and pressure is will show you who is he, not when he is relaxed and he have a caviar next to him. Like you know, if if you notice when uh, like you see a movie as an example, uh, an airplane crash, and then people are in the survival mode. You will see people change. Mm -hmm. People are willing to kill mm -hmm. to get a, to get, to get some food. So human being he turn from a human into an animal in a in a in a in a, in a speed of a, of, a, of a light, uh, and that can happen everywhere however there is people they don't change much when they are under pressure actually they can be the opposite they can be even nicer when they are under pressure or they can go out of control and they can even go to violence so you have to be always careful examine the person examine his mentality by testing the person not uh, a husband and a woman she want to marry a guy they go to the coffee shop in Starbucks. What the music you like? What uh, did you watch the movie? I mean, no, this is stupid. And then when they get married, a real problem they come, and then they start fighting, and then the guy he beat her, or even the women she can beat him. You know, there's women, there's women they lose control and they are violent too. So you have to examine the person. And you know, mm -hmm. uh, uh, my idea is that there's many uh, uh, people always deceived by the look. Uh, uh, today actually I was looking at the news there's a guy he looked very nice very handsome and I found that he raped 20 child 
20 child he wow, yeah. yeah he look handsome he look really good if you see him you think this guy is an angel you know so uh, he, he raped 20 child so uh, don't judge people by their look you have to examine the quality yeah mm -hmm. you know actually yeah most mm -hmm. of people who have a uh, let us say uh, a good a good impression they use it for their benefit always is used for their benefit uh, if a girl she want to apply for a job if she is good looking she got the job if she is not she is rejected she have to try again and again and again you know whatever she go just because that woman she is good looking that woman she is not then the people they judge by the look because they want to see something good the guy he don't care he wants secretary who have nice body he's not really caring for the quality hire her yeah she is the good one the other woman she is a good woman she have good equality she is loyal she's truthful no we will not hire her she is not good looking so human being mostly he's abusive he like to use others and he judge by the appearance and the one who do yeah. that mm -hmm. later he will be judged himself by his appearance not by his equality you know and he will suffer mm -hmm. what what, yeah, do you, what, what goes around comes around you be, right exactly <laughs> you know uh, 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 you know you associate yourself in such a way is going to come back to you mm -hmm. yeah. yeah like uh, uh, and Thank you, you know, it's yeah. very interesting <laughs> you're welcome you know and for sure this is my opinion it's not necessarily i mean it's uh, people that have to uh, maybe i'm wrong you know i'm, I'm uh, this is what i believe and uh, everyone have his own brain should think and make a decision what is right for him or for her yeah you know god he gave us a gift some of us we use it some of us we don't care for it some of us we some of us we look like we we live like a rabbit we keep moving our lips but we say nothing you know rabbit mm -hmm. rabbit they keep moving their lips but there's nothing there they are not even talking you know so uh, <laughs> there's many human beings they are the same they, they talk they talk they talk they talk and then at the end of the day what they said nothing what they did nothing and then you know what you be yeah. sometimes your comparison it's it's funny but it's very true <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, because I observe life around me. You know, I'm, I, uh, I'm not coming from different galaxy. So yeah, this is what the rabbit do do. He keep moving his lips, and you will see. You look around you, you will find people. Their interest is very silly, very stupid, and you wonder sometimes if you are really in the right place in the right time. But uh, you know, this is not for everybody to think this way. Eh, Depend on the person. But this is how I see. Sometimes I see rabbits. All right. Anything this is else? The first time I heard the comparison regarding the rats and human. <laughs> well, I know. I mean, uh, you have to avoid the rabbits. You know, you have to avoid the rabbits. Uh, you know, it, it moving the lips, talking too much doesn't make uh, a difference. It's what you say and what you do. All yeah, right. so true. Anything else? No, that's all. It's very interesting. And thank you so much uh, for your explanation. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. All right. Yeah, you know, human being. Human being always, he go by his own uh, definition for life. And, uh, you know, everyone, he see life differently everyone he see you know actually if you put an image in the front like now we have this video in the front of you of the ocean if we ask each one of us what do you like about this video you will see each one of you he will focus on something those who like sand they will talk about the sand those who like the sun they will talk about the sun those who like the sky the, the colors the cloud uh, those who talk about slow more every one of you will describe the same image differently and this is mean that every individual is different. No individual is the same as other. So when you think that you have experience in life, or you think that, okay, uh, uh, that you are a female, you work, you have a business, you go to school, uh, you met a lot of men during work, uh, so you know about men. No, you know nothing. Same for women. 
or men you know they don't know anything about women because every woman is different every man is different so you need to learn about the individual not about the gender because there's some women they act like men they forgot about their gender and there's some men they act like women they forgot about their gender too and there's some men they, they don't belong to the men world and there is some men nobody knows what they want so everyone is different everyone his interest is different everyone what make him angry is different what make him happy is different for God he made us different so when you want to find out what is good for you you have to find out yourself don't don't think that because you uh, okay I, I uh, uh, you know I met a man or two or two men or three uh, or maybe I am educated now so I know what men are about you know nothing because everyone is different you will be totally surprised same for women you know uh, <clears throat> life life is a is a big school and you have to learn from it and if you are not learning that's your fault and the first lesson to learn about a human that there's no human is the same as other human nobody there's things we are all share like you know we sleep we eat we go to the bathroom we get sick we get happy we get sad yeah all of us we share the same things but what make us happy and sad not necessarily the same some people they rejoice for evil they get happy when they see bad news on TV. They get excited. They love it. Some people, they love watching horror movie. And here, there's a big question about those things. I mean, why in the world a human being, he like to watch horror movie? Mm, something interesting. So what do you like? You see, those things can take you, inspire you, or let's say, can make you go and drill inside your, your yourself why in the world i will like violent movie what is attraction what is the attraction there for me maybe i'm peaceful outside but i am violent inside why in the world i enjoy watching a movie it's called horror there's a guy is torturing women the woman is screaming he put nails in her hands then he bring the machine and he start cutting her apart i mean what what is the joy in this still there's people they enjoy it so you have to think carefully about the behavior of a person even if that person is you why in the world you enjoy this you find a, a different person for seeing a good news he cry you know have a good heart somebody is giving a ring for a woman in the in the park he's just watching he is not involved in the story he cry or she cry and that is a question too what make you cry so not necessarily is a good uh, i mean it's, it's a bad thing to you know i mean i'm saying what the, the 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 reflection appear in your in your behavior what you like what you enjoy what make you happy what make you cry same that issue can be helping you or a way to help you to understand the person you want to marry from uh, you want to engage to or even you want to work with or you even take as a friend what make them happy what make them angry uh, what what is a joy for him what is a sadness for him this is how we should uh, you know uh, 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 go deep otherwise we learn nothing about people until it's too late right most of women if we talk about this issue maybe we should make i mean we talked about it before most of women they marry men for their look and most of men they marry women for their look as simple as that it doesn't matter if you are a fool if you are stupid <laughs> if you are silly if you are trashy just you are good looking that's it <laughs> no and then they end in disaster because the look later will be useful you i mean you, you uh, usual you're used to it so nothing new nothing new 
uh, I remember this is when I was a teenage. Uh, there is there is a girl. Uh, I, I remember the story. You know, like when you are a teenage, you remember uh, really some stories. They stay with you forever. So this girl is really so beautiful, and I saw her first day and second day. Uh, the whole the whole day, the whole night. I'm thinking about tomorrow. I'm going to talk to her. I can't even sleep. I want to talk to her. That's it. I mean, she is so beautiful. So second day, I'm preparing myself like what I will say, what I should not say. You know, you are just a kid. And then I came and she was talking. And I start listening to what she is saying. I felt so disgusted. And I said to myself how full I was. All night, I'm thinking about talking to this woman. So the second she opened her mouth, she became like a frog for me. I mean, she is not saying words. Rocks is coming from her mouth. So I was under the influence of her beauty. She is extremely beautiful. But the second she opened her mouth, I want to I wanna throw up. And this is how, you know, you, you, you should always be careful. Don't let the influence of a look, the influence of money, the influence of position, the influence of somebody is famous, like somebody, you know, people, they like a person who's famous. That's it, just because he's a famous, even if he's a piece of trash. Just because he's a famous, you put his picture in your bedroom. Is that true? It's true. How many people they put the picture of Michael Jackson and all this, you know, many of them, they are but a fire, rapist, drug dealer, you know, I mean, they put their pictures just because they are famous. They worship famous people. But this famous even don't think about you. He don't even, he don't know you. And if he see you, he will not even shake hands with you. But you worship them. So human beings have a weakness and the weakness is he always look for an idol. An idol to worship. So a woman, she want to marry a man. She is not looking for a husband. She is looking for an idol. And the man, he is want to marry a woman or have a girlfriend. He is not looking for a wife. He is looking for an idol. He have a imaginary in his head, like you know, she have to look like this. She have to have etc. And the same for the man, you know. So worshiping idols will make you nothing but pagan. As simple as that. <laughs> and paganism is really stupid, you know. Yeah, but uh, you, know, uh, you know what I'm saying. I'm, I'm not talking about Michael Jackson as a person. I'm talking about what people do. You know, you see, you see women they jump crazy because they saw somebody is famous. I, and the other day, I saw a video of a YouTuber. He's just a YouTuber. He's not even like a superstar or something. Girls, they saw him. They start jumping. Hey, yeah, yeah, come They went crazy. It's just a guy from YouTube, you know. Crazy. <clears throat> uh, anyway, you have ever had a woman? Have you ever had a woman? Nobody can have a woman, my friend. The woman she had you. How you can have a woman? <laughs> You know, the funny is that even, even the terms and condition we use in the language is wrong. The question is, have a woman ever have you? Because if a woman she have you, that means she have your heart and you love her. If you have her, that means she is the one who loves you. You don't love her. So look what we, what we even when we question, we think about ourselves. Did you have a woman? You know? But this is not should, how it should be. The women should have you and you have her, but the, you should seek you yourself to be have by her, which means she loves you. In the same time, you should seek that you have her, which means you have her heart. You, you are talking about having a woman physically. <clears throat> Very, you know, I don't know, people, they think differently and they, they have their own way to see life. They, they, they talk about having a woman as having, having a property uh, or having a man as you have a, you have a horse. All right.
<clears throat> is Robert Christian your son? No, I have no children. I have no wife. <laughs> Robert Christian is my son. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, we talk about many things today. And the most important is that you as a human, to live as a human, humanity is to feel for others before you use them. Which means you ask yourself, am I using them? You know, like, I receive a donation from someone from Indonesia. So I told this person, why you are sending a donation? I know that people in Indonesia, they have a low income. You know? Otherwise, I mean, who in the world, why you, why you want to be unhappy for receiving a donation? Everybody need money. Don't we? Everyone need money. So for me, I was thinking, okay, this person is from Indonesia. Indonesia is a poor country. I mean, how much those people they make there? So either I use their love and abuse it, or I feel for them and ask them, please, you don't need to donate. You don't have to. Maybe, I mean, you need the money more than me. I don't know the person. I mean, I do not know how much money they make. But you have to feel for the people so if you are a person who always think about you having things then you will meet mostly people who they like to have things from you too you will never meet people who want to share things with you because they love you so there's people who loves you and because they loves you they want to share things with you and there's people they want to use you and because they want to use you they will, they will take things from you this is about taking, not sharing. <clears throat> uh, be a Muslim to get a Muslim wife. Why? What's wrong with the Christian women? Why? Oh, marry. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. It's very important to marry a believing woman or man. Because if you don't marry a person who believe in your belief, you are destroying your house and your children. So never, never do such a mistake. <clears throat> do you often drink ginger with tea? I never drink ginger with tea. I don't. Why I cannot donate to you? I don't know. what. The, I'm, I'm not sure why. <clears throat> Uh, and you know, always, always uh, think about uh, about uh, a person, friend, family, your mother, your sister, your wife, your fiance, whatever you know you have. Uh, think about the people before you think about yourself, and that include anything. Like if you want to say a joke. Is this joke is good to be said or is going to hurt somebody? People usually they are selfish, you know. They say things. I mean, sometimes stupid stuff just to say it. Uh, they don't care. I mean, they want to laugh. They want to be rude. They want to bully, bully people. You know. So you you have to be smart because that will come back to you. You bully them, somebody will bully you. You learned your lesson about getting a wife. No, my friend, nobody can teach you how to get a wife. You are the one who can teach yourself because you are the only one who can inspire inside yourself and find really what are you looking for. What I say to you is a general idea, but it is you who knows really what you are looking for. However, my advice is don't focus in the look. Uh, uh, when I say that doesn't mean, you know, women, I mean, if you don't like her look, don't marry her for sure. And that's uh, and the reason I say that because it doesn't matter really how she look. 
what matter is is how you see her which mean if a woman she looks so pretty but you see her ugly that mean you will not have a good marriage if a woman she don't look good but you see her so beautiful you will have a good marriage so you need to see what you are looking for so don't go after what people say go after what you think is good for you like you might meet a woman and your mom she don't like her i don't like her i mean who your mother she is not the one who will marry the women it's you do you see her pretty do you see her beautiful do you see her good for you so if you see her in such a way that's she is she is the one you are looking for but many people sadly they they decide based on what people say because they are not uh, mature enough maturity is very important you know to to make decision it's like even doing shopping you know when you do shopping you will find somebody is willing to spend a thousand dollar for a purse okay is that a sign of maturity i don't think so it's a sign that somebody controlling you somebody control you to the point you cannot control yourself and stop spending your ex expensive money which you spend many hours to make or may maybe many days and you put it in two minutes in the pocket of somebody all right <clears throat> Um, well, I, somebody asked me about speaker corner. I don't like speaker corners because in speaker corners, people just talk that there's no uh, real debate. There's no reference. There's nothing. Uh, you know, it's like a, 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 a flat on a corner, but none of them is educated, mostly. Christian women, they are and they are going extreme torture in Pakistan. They burn her, rape her try to convert her to Islam or type uh, what I mean what you can do I mean there's things is limited for us uh, Pakistan is a very uh, run by e evil regime and evil government and evil system and evil religion so what do you expect I don't think anything you can do to her uh, there is a Christian organization of law maybe they can get her a refugee a visa uh, me myself I help uh, a couple who left Islam from, uh, I think both of them, they are Jordan or Palestine, something like this, Palestinian. Uh, they were applying for refugee in England and they refused them. So I contacted um, a Christian uh, law firm and they sent a lawyer all the way to, uh, to England. But this is England. So maybe you can contact some Christian organizations and they, they can get her papers, visa to come to maybe Australia, etc. Try to help her. If you know her information, you know her, you know what's happening, you can support it with evidence, news, etc. <clears throat> the Lord will provide. All right. All right. Um. All right. Anything else? Well, you know, those those people, they are living in the cave time. And Islam make them live beyond the cave time. Very uh, ugly cult. Extremely dangerous, extremely ugly. And, you know, there's people, they are unlucky. They are born in, in those countries. You are a Christian and born in... I mean, a person who is from Pakistan and he's a Muslim, he don't have a good life. So what about a person who is a Christian?
<clears throat> okay, I see many comment. I sent you a message, Christian Press. Yeah, you have to be careful. There are some people they claim they have a name. It's not me. I don't see. I did not receive your message. So you are you are texting the wrong person. Block that person. <clears throat> and be careful, by the way. Anyone like there is some people they are trying to clone my Skype. Don't take a file from me. Never take a file from me. Never. I will never send a file for you. I will not accept file from you. I will never ask you for a credit card. I will never ask you for private information. Never, ever, ever. Even if you are a person who texts me before in Skype. Because this is just a program and maybe one day they can hack it. I have many of people who hate me. All right? So never, never send a file. Never take a file. Never give information. Never give your real name. Never give a credit card number. Why well, I want to ask you for a credit card number? <laughs> you know what I mean? Just be careful. <clears throat> I have a question about Christianity because in Indonesia many churches say that after death we will go in the purgatory before entering heaven. Is that right? My friend, this is philosophy. It can be true, it can be not. But I mean, this is none of my business anyway. Why those Christians are worried about this? God will do what he will do. Can we tell God what he will do after death? No. You know what I mean? So there is there is some people, they, they waste their time in silly, silly talk. I find it silly talk. At the end of the day, God, he is in control, and he will do what he will do, not what he say, she say, I say. Correct? So we believe in him. We believe in judgment day. We believe in the coming of Christ. And we believe in justice. So he will do what he will do. As simple as that. Don't waste your time with those debates. Those are debates made for people like rabbit. You know, talk, keep talking. They talk too much, they say nothing. Without mentioning the name of a church, my friend, we are not here to mention the name of a church. I'm talking about to you as a human. So be smart, be wise. Don't waste your time in argument, and the argument take you nowhere. When judgment did come, you will see. And that will not change anything. I mean, whatever it is, it's going to be. So why you waste your time in it? But sometimes I find like people, they are empty and they are trying to fill themselves with like talk. Like what, what we want to talk about? Let us talk about something. You know? <clears throat> My friend, I don't receive any message in Skype. Let us see. No, you are, you are sending the wrong Christian prince in Skype. I don't see anything. This is not me. I don't see anything. Maybe sometime, maybe if you have an old message from you, I don't see it because uh, Skype don't appear again in the top. Maybe give me a ring to see if you are if you are the person who sent me a message. Just give me a ring. I will not answer. <coughs> Yeah, there is, there is arguments. It's like philosophy argument. They, you know, everybody want to be a philosopher, and everybody want to come his own interpretation for things. But he or me, we are not the one who is in charge to make decision. And at the end of the day, if this is will happen or not, that won't change anything. Did you vote for Trump? Absolutely. And I will vote for him again. What do you want me to vote for? People who want to kill babies? And look, you know, look at the hypocrisy. When the election come, suddenly all of them, they are Christians. Nancy Pelosi now is a Christian. She talk about praying. She talk about Christian discrimination. Who? Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> I 
like Obama before the election suddenly he's holding the Bible in his hand and he became missionary <clears throat> you study philosophy I think philosophy is the last thing to study because after studying philosophy you cannot learn philosophy you have to be a philosopher by birth it's a gift philosophy is not really to study you can study the history of it etc but it does not make you a philosopher I believe actually studying philosophy is a waste of time because it simply is philosophy it doesn't make you wise you know like uh, to give an example like uh, you know those doctors who who work with people who have mental illness most of them themselves they have mental illness actually I never met one of them who studied this branch that uh, but he himself he need a he need, he need a doctor you know? <clears throat> <clears throat> anything else so guys did you enjoy this time like in the weekend to do this program like this did we have a good time we talk about many things there's many topics in the same time we take a break from the cult of Muhammad <clears throat> Uh, I delete my videos you know I see there's most of the videos I make I delete them I delete my videos that's why I ask people to download my videos so if you care to have a video to watch it download it otherwise I will delete it myself you are exactly three hours time doesn't count really it's what we do in this time either we have a three hours of good education or talking or we have a three hours of blah 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 <clears throat> Bruce Lee he says I study philosophy and now I am unemployed and watch CPTV too <laughs> yeah I mean like uh, I don't know you see, if, if you are seeking in uh, employment, I don't think philosophy is the is the career, right? <clears throat> well, in the Middle East, does not have politics. The Middle East have a, have a you know have a, have rules of uh, of uh, the jungle, the big fish, the small fish. Everybody want to small is uh, swallow. You know, they want to swallow each other. So Middle East is, is a place where there's no justice. Um, it's about who is strong and who is weak. And if you are the weak, you are gone. Uh, there's no rules. Politics is a joke, you know. Uh, people, they switch their uh, friends uh, overnight. Arab in general, they have no loyalty to anything, you know. Uh, they killed even the, the, the grandsons of Muhammad and his family. They killed them, the Arab. They have no they have no loyalty to anyone you know they are people who switch overnight as simple as that so this is why there's no politics in the Middle East there is who is strong when you get strong everybody want to be your friend when you are weak you try to be a friend so somebody is strong so this is how the game work if uh, Saudi Arabia gets strong then Jordan want to be friend to Saudi Arabia if Saudi Arabia get weak and Jordan gets strong then Saudi Arabia want to be friend to Jordan which means that there is nothing there really it's called politics it is about balance of power the reason Israel is exist because there is a certain balance of power if Israel became weak, they would eat it alive. 
like you know uh, Erdogan he speak too much against Israel but he is number one country in the Middle East who have contracts with Israel security contract intelligence contract sharing information you know which mean intelligence information army contracts uh, uh, flying contracts I mean you name it oil contracts trade contracts uh, tourism contracts I mean this guy his relationship with Israel is so strong but when you go in the stage Israel is an occupation Israel. so uh, 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 this is what politics in the Middle East the crowd like to hear something I say it but behind the scene I do the opposite that is a Middle Eastern style like the king of Saudi Arabia he told the Palestinians I support you and we will do what you want in the same time he sent his team to, to Israel and he says we support the peace process but all is under the carpet the Prince of Qatar he support Al-Qaeda he support the Mujahideen he have a Jazeera who curse uh, USA every day but he have the biggest base of USA army in the Middle East <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> it's crazy. This is why it's not politics. Those are Arab Bedouin. Bedouin. You know, Bedouin, they are people who shake hands with you and they have a knife in their back. That is the politics of Bedouin. When the asset was strong, everybody is subdued. The asset became weak, everybody is an enemy. Everybody want to put his knife in his chest. Same as Saddam Hussein. When Saddam Hussein was strong, oh, Saddam Hussein, you are our brother. Saddam Hussein got weak. Everybody want to stab him in the side. The American came. Suddenly Saddam Hussein is the enemy and everybody take the side of the America. Those are the Arab. They understand one language. Power. Who is the strong? More churches in the West get closed. Not in USA. In USA, churches are getting bigger to the point they are doing the service in the stadium. In USA, if your house close to a church, the price of the house will go down because every Saturday and Sunday, cars will be all over the street. So this is not the case. Was this the Middle East uh, Eastern culture? Or no, this is because of Islam. Islam, you know, Islam. This uh, the Arab, the the the, the Arab. In the, when we say the Arab, we are talking about Islam. The Arab they brought with them Islam, and Islam brought with them brought with them, uh, you know, uh, to be traitor. Okay, ask yourself. Did, didn't the Muslim they say that the caliphate they've been killed by Muslims? This is the beginning. I mean, those are the best of Muhammad time. This is Islam in the beginning. It's like saying, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 Peter, he want to kill Paul, and Paul want to kill, uh, 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 I mean, this is what they did. Uh, Uthman ibn Affan, the caliphate, not only they killed him, before they killed him, they took his beard hair one by one. They cut his head. They drag him in the ground. They play with it a volleyball. They put his head in a stick. And then when they, they refused to bury him, they throw him in the, in the street. Then a bunch of guys, they took him secretly and they buried him between the Jews in the graveyard of the Jews. This is the caliphate. The one who collected the Quran for them. This is what the Muslim did to the caliphate. No. If this is what they do to each other, what they would do to you? Go to Syria. ISIS want to kill Al-Qaeda. Al-Qaeda, they want to kill uh, 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 the army of Islam. Our army of Islam want to kill, uh, 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 I mean, they, they want to kill each other. They, they are killing each other. Well, this is Islam. This is why, you know, I say Islam will never be anything. You see, Islam is a big word. Many people think Islam is one like a, one society or one religion. Islam is, is 
is trash is is like a it says dust which islam which one which one is the one we are talking about isn't it saudi arabia considered the muslim brotherhood terrorist emirat bahrain egypt syria iraq which islam so why why those are muslims are against muslims because this is islam this is the nature of islam they torture they are against each other they are they are they are power seekers they are not about religion Um, okay, we have somebody saying, can you call? Let us see the first one. Okay, let us see this person. Yes. Um, I just want to thank you for all your. But also, I want to ask: Is it possible to do an episode um, explaining all the basics of Islam? Because I just only started watching you for one year, and it takes a lot of time to understand what is a tafsir and who is all the characters in the hadith and all that. Okay. Well, you, yeah. when you say the basic, you mean like uh, what Muslims believe, or what, you mean um, the, what, what, what do you, yeah. mean, you mean exactly? Like the, the, the belief, or how how uh, uh, what the Muslims they depend on? Yeah, because like I I talk to some Muslims, and um, and then they'll say things like, oh. I, you know, I listen to, uh, I only read stuff like uh, from Abu Huraira, mm. and I don't know what, uh, I know he's like one of the people who recite in the Hadith, but I don't know like anything else. Well, let, let us do this, you know, next time I go live on air, uh, and yeah. the, the topic is about Islam, call me, you know, um, um, I, will, I, I, I will make an exception. Uh, because this will be helpful for everybody prepare your questions uh, or you can mention them in the text in the chat and i will answer you as an example abu huraira he, he, his name means the father of the cats because he liked to have cats around him he was a okay. person who was, who was he was a person which is almost like a homeless so he associate he is a you know this kind of people who go with you because he will get free food Okay. You know what I mean? All right. Like there's a person he will yeah. go with you not because he like you, but because you are you are, yeah. you know you can provide something for him. So he is a trashy person. He's not really a good person, you know. So uh, 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 he he go with Muhammad because whatever Muhammad he go he get free food, free meal. People invite him, you know. So. Uh, like cause that. Uh because a lot of people like for example in Malaysia or wherever they just know know it as a name we don't know um, what it means like yeah like you said father of something something we just take it as a name and they just uh, trust whatever the imam says yeah, well you know okay. when they say trustworthy I love because who, what a trustworthy they, they, none of them was there to witness that oh. this is happening or did not happen, right? So this oh. is uh, this is uh, you know this is funny talk, but uh, it's it's clear that uh, 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 the Muslim they depend in certain people, and those people uh, obviously they are not good quality. Uh, let us see. Uh, I will try to find some reference. 
And if you have a person who wanna talk, you know, who wanna talk to me from the Muslims, he can call me too. You know, he can I'll call get them me. to call you. Yeah, they can call me. Okay. Yeah. I, will, I, I yeah. actually always I welcome Muslims to call me. But anyway, when the Muslim they say Abu Huraira, okay, okay, who is Abu Huraira? Maybe even he doesn't exist. How they knew that he exist? Because somebody he said that he said from 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 from, but none of those from we saw them. And you know the the hadith is a book written three hundred years after, or you know about three hundred years after Muhammad. So how we know that? How the guy who start writing the hadith he knew that those people ever exist. Okay, so like just basically question, question, question them. No, I mean when the when they say that we we learn hadith, we accept hadith from such a person. Okay, you accept him yeah. by what? Do you know him? Did you see him? Have you ever met him? Who is this guy? Even you don't know his name. Abu Huraira is the father of the cats. How you can even accept such a name? Imagine I say to you, I uh, I want to learn about the prophet from the father of the dogs. <laughs> this is what is the word, but, but because they are not, because they are naive, they do not know what the word means. Abu Huraira, Abu Huraira, the father of the cats. He have a cat. Cats, you know, cat, Huraira is a name of the cat, but you spoil it, like you say, uh, uh, dog, doggy. You know, this is what Huraira is. So it's a spoiled name of a cat. That's really funny. Yeah, so you know, we we accept the hadith from Abu Hurairah, the father of the cats. And who is this guy? What do you know about him? You know. Okay. Uh, All right. I just yeah. Okay. Thank. I just wanted to yeah. Okay. So, thank you so much. Um, I'm actually quite surprised that you called. I saw I'm a bit caught off guard. But uh, yeah. Thank. I just wanted to ask if you could like yeah. Exp have an episode where you explain all the basics like um where to go to for um i mean i already listed down most of it i already wrote down notes of, of most of it but it would be helpful i think um if we have an episode to introduce to my other christian friends because no they they're wanting to reach out to muslims but um and they don't know where to start and it would be nice to say oh you know uh, uh, Tasir is explaining Quran and you can go look for it blah 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 here and there and stuff like that hmm. yeah for Christians but not for Muslims I understand I understand I, I will I will I will work in that no problem uh, but the most important is uh, you know before you approach yeah. anyone any any religion not only Muslims you, it's, it's not that by knowing those stuff you can approach Muslims. You have to know the mm. negative, the positive, uh, the, the wrong, the, the right, and you have to prepare mm. yourself for a full conversation, not copy and paste. Okay. You know, okay. like you cannot you cannot claim uh, that you are a doctor because you learn that there is a medicine called antibiotic. Mm. You know, that's not enough. You have to study and be a doctor. So uh, uh, it is it is a process. It is uh, mm. uh, uh, having enough information to go into dialogue, not jumping into dialogue and you are not ready. Okay. It's like uh, you, right. you think you can swim because you bought a swimming suit. All right. You know, yeah, you have yeah. you have to learn how to swim. Uh, not buying the swimming suit will make you ready to go. Oh, but there's so much stuff to learn. How we, how do we know when we're ready? You have to have patience. You know, you know, you know. Your knowledge will talk. You, your knowledge will talk. As simple as that. You know. Mm. Knowledge always. You mean, uh, no, as I talk to the Muslim, then I'll know whether I'm prepared or not. No, uh, let us say you are listening to a Muslim making uh, talking about Islam or etc. In your brain. You know, you try to answer it before you open your mouth and, and ask yourself, is that really an answer or this is just uh, silly what I'm saying? You know? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so we you know, uh, uh, 
going and debating people and you don't have knowledge uh, can be a problem because yeah. you, you you will lose yeah. you know first you will say things which is not right and they, yeah. they will use it against you mm. yeah okay. especially it's about religion it's not about something you know that's religion you have to be ready before you open your mouth mm. yeah Okay, I'll study more. <clears throat> listen, I have tons of videos. I mean, listen to them, read them. I have my, you're, you're, in, you're Indonesian, right? I, I have my book, uh, yeah. Quran and Science in Depth, in the, translated to Indonesian. Read it. It's for free. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Take care. All right. Cool. Thank you. All right, let's see. There's one person more when I call. Hello? Yes. It's pretty amazing to be speaking to you. Thank you for calling me. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, so I just wanted to ask you if you could make some videos talking about the Islamic invasions of Africa and all the like terrible things that Muslims did to African people. Because it's very unknown, whilst everyone talks about how Europeans conquered Africa and stole all the resources, no one talks about how the Muslims were doing that 1,400 years, well, at least 1,000 years before the, the Europeans came, and uh, how it was very much Islamic, whereas when Europeans came, they were typically atheists, they didn't follow Christianity at all. But in Islam, it specifically teaches them to invade people's countries, just like they did, obviously, to your people as well, um, to the non-Muslim Arabs. So if you could make a video just talking about the racism in Islam, specifically as it relates to um, sub-Saharan Africans, but all of Africa, if you, if you can, I mean, that would be great. Sure. Well, you know, first of all, all the slaves are bought by the Western are bought from the Arab. Yes, yes, that's true. The one who controlled yeah, North absolutely. Africa, North Africa, all of it, this is the gate of the slavery. Libya, yes, Algeria, yes. Morocco, you know, Tunisia. So, yeah. uh, but you know, the, 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 the liberals, because they hate Christianity, so they focus on, on, the, on the Western, and when they focus on the Western, they focus on Christians, you know, Christians, not the yeah, Western. that's very true. Yes. But the fact is, all, every single slave was captured and sold by the Muslims. Yes, and, yes. And there is there is something you can search for. It's called the revolution of the Zinj. Mm. Let me see. That was in find. Iraq. That was in Iraq, exactly. So I spoke about it before. Uh, the revolution of the Zinj proving to us how ugly it was, the slavery, to the point that uh, Zinj mean the, the black, the black people, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it is the end word in English. I don't want to say it. So, yeah, yeah thank you. The, the revolution of the Zinj, you can search it. Let me put it in the screen. The number, the, the number of black people became so big, so huge, to the point there are cities totally are black African slaves. There's no white people live there. No white people <laughs> live there. You know? Okay. And this is, the, as you see it in the map, you know? So, and then because they became a huge in number, they decide to make a revolution. They became like they can make an army. They're, this is how, how big they are as number. And then you ask yourself, okay, as long as they have a lot of black people in Iraq, in Syria, slave, what, what happened to them? Where are they? They killed them all. Yeah, <laughs> very good point. You know, like, okay, the American, they brought slaves. The Western, they brought slaves. Okay. But now in America we have ten, we have ten percent black African American and they are equal to us yeah, in, in citizenship and we love them. So, true. what happened to the black who been brought as slaves by hundreds of thousands to, to the to the Middle East? Where they go? Yeah, the, very good points. Where, where is the black people of Iraq? They are gone. Kill, they killed them all. You know. Yeah, them. so so what happened to to did they lose the rebellion or the revolution? They lose for sure. They lose. They will lose. I mean, uh, the majority are Arab. They are white people, and the black are minority. They are they are not from there. You know, they are slaves brought in brought there, and they kill them all. Mm -hmm. 
No. Okay. Yeah. So that's why we don't see them in those countries anymore. No, no black people and, there. At least not many, very few of them. No, yeah. no, there's no black people. You know, like I grew up in the Middle East. I, where is the black people? You might find some uh, dark color like in Egypt, like in uh, Nova, but those are not from the slaves. Those are from that area. You know, remember, yeah. remember, Egypt is part of Africa anyway. I mean, so, so like they extended their 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 uh, their borders because the British they decide to make Egypt borders as we see it today. So those are not really from yeah. part of from Egypt. Uh, so you might find like a black in Saudi Arabia. Those are slaves who they are not killed because they do not make a revolution. <laughs> you know, ask, yeah. ask him for freedom. <laughs> yeah. But obviously, you, oh, anyone yeah, no, can go and read and educate himself, and you will see that nobody did own slaves. You know, the caliphate, they used to have tens of thousands of just billy dancers in, in their palaces, you know? Yeah, yeah. Muhammad himself, he had a lot of slaves. He received women as gift and men as gifts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's very true. Right, yeah, okay. I was also, like, uh, just thinking about the fact that it's, it's not only that the Muslims of the past did it, you know, the North African, they call them Arabs, but it's also the African Muslims now today, the black like people who are following Islam are still destroying Africa. And you see it in Nigeria where, you know, the Christians are being killed all the time. You see it just all over the African Muscular. continent. Wherever there's Muslims, they're fighting the, just look for the countries in Africa that are at war every, with the civil wars, etc. And it's always the Muslims against the Christians. Yeah, every every week we hear about a massacre, like attacking a, a, a marketplace, a grocery store yes. in Africa, slaughtering people. That is Islam, nothing changed. Yeah. The only thing yeah. changed is the, is the weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. now they use their, their car bombs and stuff, whereas before they had to use swords. But yeah. it's the same thing. And... Uh, yeah, it's quite sad because, you know, these people, sometimes the African Muslims, they have got this superiority thing, just like the rest of the Muslims, where they think that they are superior because they maybe have 1% Arab DNA or something, but they right. look like a black person to Always everybody is, else. Is, Islam, uh, is, Islam is a religion of supremacists. You know, they think they are higher than... The Quran says that, you know, the Quran says that the non-Muslims are not just filthy, and Muslims yeah, are, yeah. are, you know, they are, they are clean. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, my friend, yeah, so thank you for that. And, and could I just say one other thing? If sure. you could please make a video not only on the um, racism in Islam, especially to black people and just to Africans and, and the, just the supremacy, like, you know, they even invaded the other Middle Easterners and did the, the worst things in the world to the Middle Easterners who were not Muslims, especially the Christian Middle Easterners. But if you could make a video as well on how we address this Sahi, uh, Daif, um, Hassan, how we address the hadith when they are saying that, um, you know, they, they come with these stories and they just reject everything, even if it says Sahih, and they'll say, oh no, it's Daif. But even if it's Daif, but Shia and Sunni, they accept it. They're the ones that they don't accept, they'll call Maldu. So how do we address this nonsense when they hit us back with saying, oh, well, I don't accept that one because maybe there was this other guy and I don't like him because... Um, they'll say so and so and so and so, you know, in the in the narration, they dislike that guy because he spats at someone sometime or something. They, they'll come up with a funny story to justify the reason why they don't want to accept that hadith. So how do we address them when they're like um, coming with that nonsense to us? That's very easy. Uh, first of all, there's somebody correcting me says it is a massacre, not a massacre. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, you see the the the, the issue of uh, sahih and daif. Actually, this is this is good because the Muslim they are saying to us that Islamic reference are not trustworthy. Because mm -hmm. what is sahih is daif for somebody, and what is daif is sahih for somebody else. Which mean yeah. uh, Islam is a Moody religion. So so why you say to us that Islam is protected if the hadith, which is the half of the religion of even more, is not protected? Yeah, yeah. And now yeah. if we show you Sahih Hadith, do you accept it? If it's embarrassing, they will say no. So this yeah, is very true. this is very easy to answer. Simply it's for our benefit because that's mean that Islam is not trustworthy as reference and they have no base. Okay. So meaning that they have no justification for believing in any of their hadith if they're gonna say yeah, that, that that's one it. is if you, uh, if you say in this book, that it's Sahih. If you say in Sahih al Bukhari, there's one hadith is not trustworthy, it's mean the whole Bukhari is not trustworthy. Because it means that Bukhari can't be trusted. 
because that's it it's, it's called correct hadith so if there's one thing is not correct the name is gone and if Bukhari can't be trusted then the rest of the narration collectors they can't be trusted either yeah I mean uh, if they want to say we are elective and selective in what uh, what we uh, accept well that guy goes for anything that can goes for the Quran oh, too yeah. you know and that can goes uh, to like why it's accepted by you rejected by him huh isn't it? This is an Islamic book. Yeah. So anything is embarrassing. Right. Anything is embarrassing. They say it is daif. And there is a there is a video by Sheikh uh, Yusuf. Uh, you know, I think Sheikh what? I forgot his name. Uh, he uh, he said that uh, daif hadith is a daif argument. You know. Yeah, I think he he posted that video once. It yeah. was Hamza Yusuf. Hamza Hamza yeah Hamza Yusuf yeah. So daif argument because simply it's stupid because the, the second you say daif it means accepted. It's not. It's not rejected. This is why it's called Daif. Mm. There's there's the and if, there, there's the if and there is rejected, which means is mm. not is not listed in the book anymore. That's it. The second you you, you yeah. say is the if it have a rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And the, so, is there any way we can um, come back at the Shia with that? Um, when they begin claiming that it's it's daif, no, it's the not Shia, accepted. The Shia, they have the same as Sunni. They have Sahih Hadith books, like Al Kafi mm -hmm. and etc. You know, they have the same as Al Bukhari, yes. but different names. But the Shia are are they play games the same as the Sunni? So mm -hmm. let, let us say you have to live with it. You know, play the game they play. You know, you have to, you have to yeah, play so the game. So tell them like, okay, so just, what what book you accept, which hadith you accept, which hadith you refuse. Yes. So and then yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, but I try always to make the Muslim uh, as an example. There was a hadith about gaze in the house of uh, of of uh, of the Prophet. <laughs> you know? And uh, if I if I read the hadith, the Muslim they will reject it. They will say you are a liar. That's not true. So I said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, I said, uh, okay, the prophet he used to be, he is a very hateful for the geese, etc. And I'm waiting for a Muslim to quote that hadith for me, you know. So a Muslim, he's very well known. His name is uh, is a is a stupid. His name uh, is a, a wadi. He he write articles in uh, uh, in answering Islam, uh, no, uh, answering Christianity. Anyway, this guy oh, he, got, yeah. he got excited. He took the microphone. Oh, yeah, I've seen that website. It's so stupid, and yeah. it really annoys me that Google always brings it up. If you ever search anything, Google yeah, because, clearly uh, is favoring yeah, but, the Mohammedans, uh, but, but and those, they'll bring them up at yeah, the but, first but top those, of the site. You know? Yeah, those guys they ask the owner, the idiot who owned the website, who I smashed him easy, uh, to take all the articles <laughs> because they are full of mistakes. They themselves, the one who wrote the articles, they ask him to take it down because it's full of mistakes. Anyway. So this guy, he got excited. He said, Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted. I said, well, how? You get me busted, man. You, can, you cannot. He said, okay, I will yeah. show you a hadith that the prophet, he don't hate the gays. Okay, he said, show me. And I was yeah, saying yeah. to myself, please, <laughs> please quote that hadith, you know. So he right away, he start reading the hadith. And when he arrived where it says that the gay was in the house of the prophet, he hang up. <laughs> you know? Because because he, this is not what he want to quote for me, you know. But if I quote the before he start, I said, okay. He start reading it. I said, is that the hadith number, etc. He said, yes. I said, but this is the if, isn't it? He said, no. This is sahih. This is sahih. <laughs> you know. So if I say to him, oh sorry, if I say to him from the beginning, this is this is the sahih. He will say it's daif. You know. Yeah, but yeah, because, especially with you, because they know that you know their religion better than no, anybody yeah, ever they, known they, their they, religion. Yeah, so. the, the second, the, the second they feel that I'm going to use it, they go in the defend mode. But now, supposedly he is the one who chose it. He is the one who want to use it, and supposedly I am the one who trying to say no, it's not accepted. And said so. I said, but this is the if, isn't it? He said, no, it's not the if. Christian brothers, don't lie, don't lie. It is sahih. It is sahih. I said, okay, okay, sahih, sahih. Guys, be my witness. It's sahih. Read it, read it. Okay, read it to the end. Read it to the end. When he arrived to the end, he hang up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is how it works. Yeah, especially um, there was a Shia guy who called you, and it was about the rooster. He calls you, he wants to challenge you a little bit, and I think it was on Christmas or something last year, or maybe Christmas two years ago. But he calls you up, and he he's um, a Shia. He's talking, oh, we Shia, etc., etc., and he, at first he says he accepts Al-Kafi. 
And then he changes his mind, and then, um, because you showed him the hadith hadith saying that there was a rooster general or something hilarious like that. Uh, And he was a Muslim rooster. (laughs) And um, he was a general. And then the guy just simply made it up. He he made up a book reference. He made up a couple of book references just lying. (laughs) Do you remember that? Well, I don't know. It's hard for me to remember. I mean, do you know how many Muslims I talk to in my life? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) So for you, you might remember it. For and me, the it's, thing uh, is, so many of them are dishonest. So it's like you've got all these dishonest Abduls in your mind. Ninety-nine <laughs> percent are dishonest because this is the only way to defend to defend Islam. Yeah, the only way to defend Islam is to deny, to go in denial, and to accuse me, me, to be a liar. Yeah. In the yeah. best scenario, they accuse the scholars to be liars, and you know, the scholar himself is a liar. Yeah. So. So basically, in terms of the hadith, when they try to say that, oh, it's not sahih, and then I won't accept it, etc., or even maybe they'll say it's it's maldu, it's a uh, fabricated hadith, and they have no references, all they have is just one sheikh has said this, that it's supposedly a maldu hadith. How do we combat that again? Do we just say, okay, well, your religion, everyone is uncertain, this guy no, is saying no, it's sahih, let, the let, other let, one is saying us, that let us do it's this. maldu. Let us do this. Why you want to focus in what they claim it is da'if? What about we focus in what they claim it is sahih? And that's it. The story is so so. So, uh, if I say right now, the Prophet, he said that shaitan, he run, and he start farting when he hear the adhan. Can a Muslim say this is weak? No, he cannot. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, do, do you accept this one? It's very embarrassing. So, you know, there's millions of things you can get them busted with, with what they call sahih already. Yeah, so. True. They, they think they can save themselves by denying some stories, but there is a stories enough to make Muhammad be the joker of the whole world, not only in, in a, you know, in a conversation. All right. Anyway, my friend, thank so you. Very, to, very, thank you very much for calling. Tra- yeah. Anything else? We have to try trap them just like you trap them and say, okay, do you accept yeah, Sunan yeah, Abu yeah, Dawood? You know, um, do you accept it first? And you, then when they say yes, then we can show them the hadith. You don't debate a Muslim, you corner him. There's no debate. Yeah, okay. There's no debate. Because a debate is between two people who they are honest. You say what you believe, I say what I believe. They don't do that. They practice taqiyya. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. All right. Thank you so much, Christian Prince, for calling me. That was. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked and amazed and I'm very appreciative that you called me. You're doing great work and um, I see Muslims leaving Islam every day, many of them acknowledging that Jesus is God. So thank you for that. Thank you. And we all appreciate it. You're God, working so hard. God bless you. Take care. All right. Goodbye. Bye-bye. It's an honor for me to talk to all of you. I wish I can talk and more and more, but you know, like, I mean, uh, you get tired and uh, it's getting late here. Um, and already we are here for how many hours? Four hours? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit tired from sitting in the chair. Um, so they try to deny, but we have enough proofs which they themselves accept to make Muhammad look like the joker of the town. I mean, look at this. This is a prophet of God. Shaitan, he fought when he heard that. And this is an insult to Allah. Because what kind of God what kind of God he told Muhammad? I mean, where Muhammad he learned this information from Allah? I mean, look, look at the level of the conversation between the God and his prophet. Ta-da-dun, 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 ta-da-dun. Assalamu alaikum. I am Allah. Uh-huh. I am Muhammad. Okay, Allah. I have a question for you, Allah. What Shaitan he do when he hear the Adan Allah? He fart. Really? Absolutely. The second you start saying Allahu Akbar, which is my name, he turn his ass and he fart. Thank you, Allah, for the information. That's amazing. So good to be true. I mean, this is God. This is a conversation between God and his prophet. Then and the conversation is about farting. So I'm going to go tomorrow to the United Nations and I will tell them about a very important article to study. A global warming by farting. Because obviously global warming happened because shaitan he fought. There's a billion Muslim. If every Muslim he says Allahu Akbar, then we have a, how many billion fought a day? 
five billion fold at least. So here you see the city and the stupid conversation and the stupid equality. You see, everyone speak by his equality. Everyone speak by his equality. The Muslim, they say, Christian prince, he say uh, uh, vagina. I'm talking about your equality. Your prophet is the one who use it. I'm using it. Because my topic about the quality of Islam. So I have to go down to the level of your prophet. Fart, vagina, penis, uh, testicles, breast testicles, suckling, suckle me. Huh? So because my topic is about a low class person, his name is Muhammad. Because of that, I have to get dirty, which means you are making me dirty. I'm not the one. If I go and speak with people, I don't take, I don't talk about vagina and penis. But my topic is your prophet topic. It's your prophet. He is the, he. This is his equality, and because of his equality, I've been forced to speak about such equality. So we are a Christian, we don't talk about this. This is not our topic. But because here we go, this is your God. It's about fart, vagina, penis. Uh, 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 shake it, uh, eat it, uh, uh, fart it, do it, uh, you know, virgins, uh, uh, big boobs, small boobs. You know, I mean, what is this? This is your religion. And then they complain for I am saying those words. When the God of his, when Muhammad he said to the uh, man who is proud about his inheritance, he said, "If somebody is proud about his inheritance, tell him to go and bite the penis of your father." I mean, what kind of a prophet he says that? Go and bite the penis of your father. Garbage in, garbage out. I want to say thank you guys for being here. Honestly, I wish I can stay longer, but. Uh, um, you know, it's getting late and a little bit I'm getting tired. So I want to say thank you. I appreciate all those who call me uh, from the first caller to the last one, including the Muslim, because I feel sorry for him. You know, we, we, we don't hate them. We pray for them and we feel sorry for them. They are victims of the stupidity of Islam. And I understand, I mean, um, anyone, he, he belongs to a religion, he would defend his religion. That's normal. But I want a Muslim to have an advice. Honesty is very important. If you defend your religion by lying to yourself, that is stupid of you. Because at the end of the day, you are just lying to yourself. If you think you are lying to me, you are a fool. No, you are lying to yourself. And lie will make you always weak and vulnerable for those who they accuse you with your belief. Because you will feel guilty inside you, and sooner or later, you yourself, you will leave Islam. So good luck with your lie. Lies will never help. And not only that, your lies can help us to make more Muslims leave Islam because sooner or later we will show the reference and we will get you busted. And then they will know that you are just lying and they will leave Islam. And the funny, they accuse us with lying when the fact everything we say, we show it, we prove it, and they are the one. And that's why they don't dare to call me actually. Those who accuse me of lying. They have the proofs that I'm lying, but they will not call me because they are potatoes. Garbage in, garbage out. Thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is Lord. I will try to, to be live on air today, which is Sunday again, if I can. If I could not, maybe Monday. Until then, Christ is Lord. And everything else is false. Glory to his name. His name is powerful. He is holy. Everything about the Messiah, starting from his name, is amazing. And the Muslim themselves, they have to admit that they not they will not allow anyone to call himself the Messiah. Do you know that if a person he called himself the Messiah, they will kill him? Do you know why? Because there's only one Messiah. Anyone can call himself Muhammad, even Isa, but not the Messiah. That is the name of our Lord the Messiah, the Christ. And the funny, if you ask them what the Messiah mean, they have no idea. To the point, one of their scholars, he said that the reason he called the Messiah because he have a flat feet. This is how flat their brain is. The Messiah mean a flat feet. Flat brain cult. Stupidity. Stupidity 
cannot stand intelligence. Thank you and see you soon. Bye-bye.